What's up, everybody? This is Logan Hanks, the Living Fully Loaded Podcast. Got an awesome one tonight. It's a, a family, family uh, ordeal, family reunion of sorts. I got my two first cousins. And I was actually thinking about this before I even did this episode. I was like, all right, you know, I bet people have their first cousins on the show, but they may not have first cousins that are also first cousins with the other one. First cousins that are first cousins with the other. We're all first cousins. That's what I'm we saying. The, Most people probably have like a first cousin, but they're probably not first cousins with the other guest as well. Uh, oh, two so, first cousins. Yeah, we're yeah. it's a we're just a swarm of first cousins in here. You had me confused there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got uh, Shane Rose and Josh Rose. What's what's going on, guys? AKA Sugar Shane and Corn Fed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk about a little Halloween. Yeah, man, uh, this will be, this probably is going to be the last Halloween episode uh, of this month. I've been trying to do the specials. So, uh, which, how, how many you got this month? Uh, this will be the third okay. of this month. Did not do a one at the beginning. Uh, man, we were just swamped in harvest, so I did not get to put one out. But do doing, this will be number three. So, mm. yeah. We'll try to make it a good one. That's right. That's right. Well, we were just, it's easy. Uh, I asked Shane and Josh, we all have kind of a, a passion for, for film and art, like the art world, which is, you know, all right. So I have been thinking about a lot before going into this episode. And there's something I was thinking about, especially with the Rose side of the family. Have y'all noticed that that's kind of got that, the art, kind of that artistic side of things? Like, I, yeah. I wonder why, why do y'all think that is? I, I don't know. I've got out of the drawing. Josh is still in the drawing. Still and, doodle a little bit. It's, I don't know, but you're right. It's everybody does a little something. Yeah. Which well, like, like me, yeah, music. Yeah, or, like, I write, I like, like writing poetry kind of stuff or writing songs, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. It's just something to say for us. So. Yeah. But I, I've always wondered why that is like what, cause I mean, that's, you know, my which also with the other side of my family, it's got a lot of music in it too, which they all played in the church and stuff. Unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, well that's uh I mean and Josh, you yeah, you draw do you not draw much anymore? I must know more. I I'll get bored every once in a while and try to doodle something, then it starts sucking off the wooden garden. You ain't doing the comic <laughs> anymore? You ain't working on that? A little bit, but not I ain't had time in a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What kind of comic? I don't know. It's, I really don't know. It started. <laughs> it's, it's done change so much. Yeah. Like, from when it started to now, and, and I let the wife read it. And she hated it. So, <laughs> <laughs> what was it about? Like, a, yeah, give us give us the rundown, man. I got to hear a little bit of this. You've you've intrigued me. Well, it was kind of like a guy was watching the news or whatever. And he was getting pissy with everything. So he decided, and this like child molester moved in next to him. <laughs> so he hatched up a plan to kill him yeah. and hide his body, pulled out a couple of his teeth, make it like his dude done killed him. <laughs> he went in the bank one day with a letter that said, help redraw it off his money. And he just kind of like a vigilante. A vigilante. Yeah. yeah. All right. What'd and you call it? I didn't have a name for it. Like everybody's, everybody's name in it was like he or her. <laughs> yeah. I pronounced it. I, you were very well. I was going to say you might have been politically correct. Well, you but, made the name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> was there a they there and a them? A. No. <laughs> it was only singular. Uh, you you cis <laughs> cis cis male yeah. cis female. And I yeah. think it was going to be all cisses in it. Oh yeah. You weren't going to check the boxes. I don't think. Oh man, well now now see it's but you just you put it on hold. Yeah, probably till this. I don't know. Just I still got it. It's like sitting beside my recliner in the living room. Yeah, like it's a little stack of books and stuff. But that's it, pretty neat. It's, it's yeah. like one I do it on nights. You know, you sit around listening to music and your mind's kind of out there, so you start putting stuff down. Then you yeah. wait the next day and you're like, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think. It was like Stephen King or somebody, but he said you need to go like weeks before you look back at your stuff. Uh, because I've, I've read his on writing. Have y'all ever read that or listened to it or anything? Uh, it was really, 
I mean, King, you know, he he's an idiot politically, but I mean, there's no denying the dude is like a bad of the bone author. Yeah. And his book, I mean, it was really cool reading it and, and hearing it. And that's kind of what he did. He would go back, write, and then not look at it again for like a couple of weeks or maybe even longer. And then he'd go back because otherwise it's like too fresh in your head. All right. So I don't know. Well, it's been close to a year, so I might go back and look at it. <laughs> you yeah, might be like, now look this at is it good. as a whole. <laughs> yeah. See what you get. Yeah. Well, that, man, but that's something I thought about. It's it's interesting how I feel like that side of the family, though, is that way. I mean, because I, I like to write screenplays, and yeah. I mean, I, I still feel like I don't. I'm going to write one one day. I'm going to write something. I'm going to write some kind of movie. It's in my head. I just got to put it on paper. Does music bring scenes out? Yes. Dude, that's exactly. 100%. Yeah. Man, him used to ride around and make a movie out of the song. <laughs> <Yeah. he's listening. laughs> yeah. And it was like, all right, what's going on now? I mean, it's, yeah, like music corresponds. And like all my favorite movies have great music to them. Yeah. That's, you know, it's part of it. Yeah, that's how I, that's how I am. I mean, like in. Even different stuff, like uh, I used to have a Braveheart poster like up on the wall right there, and I I'll jam the soundtrack uh, oh, yeah. for for Braveheart, uh, Last of the Mohicans. That was the one thing I was telling them before we started. I'm not a so I like Rob Zombie's music, yeah. but I'm just not a big zombie movie fan. But I did like the music in his Halloween. You know, he had some Tom Sawyer. I think when they go to the gas station, Tom Sawyer starts playing by Rush. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, he, I liked he it. incorporated his music good, like Devil's Rejects music, and it was great. I don't know if I, I honestly don't know if I ever watched the Devil's Rejects. Wow. That's the best. That's the best one. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it, that one is is like it don't get better than that no. one. So there's no way he's gonna make a movie that's anywhere close to that one. So to the Devil's me, Rejects. Oh man, yeah, it's so yeah, good. It's the best. I'm trying to think. See, I, I always kind of mix those up with uh, The Hills Have Eyes, but he didn't have anything no, to do with it, did he? No. no. This, it, the Devil's Rejects really ain't even a horror movie. It's just an action movie with yeah. some mean horror killing characters. Yeah. <laughs> or is it the people from House of a Thousand Corpses? Yeah, yeah it's like it's a part two. Yeah. and But you really don't have to. I guess you, the first one would help, but you kind of know they're bad. Yeah. The and House of a Thousand Corpses is great, except for the last ten minutes. For me, yeah. I didn't like the Dr. I'm about Satan the same. Man. I don't like. I didn't like all that. Yeah, I didn't mind if there was an old dude up underground, but all the zombies and stuff under there too. I was like, ah oh, man, this movie was so good. Yeah, and then you got this part. <laughs> is it stupid? I don't know that I get. I don't know that I made it to the I ending. Mean, the, I didn't like the ending of it. it. I thought it was stupid, but I mean that's. Cause that's the one where they go to like the little carnival freak show thing, ain't it? It's like a gas station on yeah. the side. Yeah. Captain Spaulding, he's supposed to sell the best fried chicken. Yeah. And these idiot kids, you know, from California. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. They, of course. they want to go see Dr. Satan <laughs> yeah. at midnight. <laughs> Genius. Yeah. Well, that's kind of like Josh messaged me. So this guy, I've had him on the show uh, a couple times. He actually was on my Halloween special last year. Uh, his name's Austin Leg, and he's been wanting to get me and uh, Brandon Lilly out. Mm-hmm. He lives in uh, Idaho. He's been wanting to get us out there because they have like this haunted prison sleepover, like where you can go and you can record and stay in this like super supposedly super haunted prison. And I had shared it because he was like he he tagged me and Brandon. This thing he was like I will pay for y'all to fly out here. And let's do this. And Josh messaged me because I shared it on my story. And he was like, have you ever watched any horror movie? (laughs) (laughs) It's not not what to do. That's how it all starts. He gives a bunch of kids like, hey, let's go over there and stay where all these people got murdered. (laughs) It's not going to happen to us. Well, and when it does, everybody else is doing yeah. it. Why can't you? And do when it, it does now? start happening, us, we'll go to the worst possible place and and hide. <laughs> well, that's, you, that. that's the story. It is, man. It is. I mean, and, and I've always said I'm one of two people in a horror movie. I am. I am the one that kills the bad guy, or I'm the first one dead. Like I've always said, like because I, I've had little creepy things happen in my life, like. You know, I heard a noise at the house back when I still lived at home. 
and uh, parents were gone, and I'd hear something like midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and I went outside. Like I remember, I I've shared the story on here before, but uh, I went outside. It was about midnight, one o'clock. It was New Year's Eve. Parents were out. They were out having, celebrating, whatever. And my parents have this little, they had a Jack Russell Terrier dog, Tipper. Yeah, Tipper. Yep. And, uh, man, she was, we were sitting in there on the couch late at night watching TV. And I hear the storm door handle, like, somebody tried to open the storm door. And I had the doors locked. But, I mean, it's, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Right. And I would have thought I was hearing stuff, but Tipper, like, jumped up. And she was alert, man. She was even—I want to say she was growling, and her her hair along her back used to stand up, man. She would little bitty like ten pound dog. Yeah. She was like fer- ferocious, and so I'm like, oh my gosh, like, like there's something. I, like she just heard something. Like it's not just my imagination. And uh, so I get up, man. I'm probably 16, and I go and I get a shotgun. And I load some, and it's probably just bird shot. I just found some <laughs> shot shells, but I mean, it's a shotgun. I load it and I walk outside and I got a, a flashlight and I'm walking around. We had this black cat Houdini at the time and he jumps out and I mean, he nearly, he nearly was <laughs> a goner. Um, <laughs> like I almost shotgunned a cat, but uh, he yeah, runs off. Ain't more like it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, he did. Uh, he died like a year later. So I guess I'd have been just speeding up the yeah. inevitable for him. But uh, so I go around and I actually shot twice in the air. And I, I think I even kind of tombstoned it and was like, come on back. You know, like <laughs> made like said something. And then I went back and said, but do you know what my fatal error? I mean, this you is left the door. Open. I left yep. the door unlocked. <laughs> yep. I got I went inside. And I thought about that later on. Like I was in the house, may have even been in bed at that point, And I'm thinking, I'm like, you left the door unlocked. Like if they See, could be in here. If you would have been in a movie, you would have been dead. Yep. Yep. I'd have been the one I'd gone back inside, <laughs> felt very safe, unloaded the gun, put it up. And then I'd have been turned around and they'd have slit my throat. <laughs> yeah, you'd but do you think they would have sat there and explained you what you did wrong? Like, look, man. Held you hostage for a minute. Yeah, they probably they would. Doing there. They'd like stab me in Gave the kidney. You their whole story first. <laughs> yep. We were, if you wouldn't have left that door unlocked, we were just going to go somewhere else. Yeah, they, yeah. They, we was already running and they was like, hey, left the door open. <laughs> Let's go back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It was, so that's where I decided because some people I've told that story to, like, I think Marcy, she said she would have gone and just gotten under the covers and hidden when she heard the sound. I'm like, nah, I can't do that. Like, I, I've i got to know curiosity is either, like I said, I'm going to kill or be the one killed. Like, curiosity is too much for me. There's a system to all them movies. There's a movie, uh, Cabin in the Woods. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? Yep. Have, have you seen it? It's got the Hemsworth in it. I don't it. think I've, I think I've seen bits and pieces of it. It's so good. It is hit the, uh, Chris Hemsworth, ain't yeah. it? It, man, it's so good. They go to this. I don't want to spoil it for you, if you because it's one of those movies you watch. Well, maybe like, I have to put it on my good. list. And it's not like a you know, if you don't particularly like a scary movie, it's really not a. I mean, it's got it's like man, it's kind of creepy. It's got some moments, but, but it takes a very different turn. Like yeah, you you will not see coming what what happens. Yeah, I'll put it on my list. Oh, I'll, I'll get around to it, it very one day this year. Yeah. It yeah. mean, from the beginning, especially when you realize what's going on, it's a genius. Yeah. 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 Did you ever imagine the ending? Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Now you are killing me. <laughs> it's it's, your it's fault. the right, I watch it, it is the I'll greatest watch. film ever made. Actually, like no, the best no, movie no, no, of no. all time. It's original, as yeah. far as being original, I don't. It's not the best. They movie said it's ever, the best movie in history. If you Google Isn't best really? movie, no. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute. Who are they? <laughs> they. Is it he or she? Uh, it's a they. They, okay. Yeah. Very politically hey, You got to believe them. Yep. They, them, man. No. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I'm I'm a movie, movie sucker pretty bad. I was trying to think. So, now, Shane, you're not a, you've said before, you're not a big horror movie guy. No, I... There's movies I like that are considered horror movies, but I wouldn't consider like Predators considered a horror movie. Really, it's an action movie for me. That's yeah. considered horror. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I never would have thought that. Yeah. Uh, Kerry Wade said something about our other cousin. He said something about it the other day, and I looked it up and I was like, "Yeah, I guess that is a horror movie." Hmm. Well, but I, I mean, there's there's movies I like, but I'm not into. 
the exorcist or you know stuff like that it's yeah well i'm not a big monster squad that's, yeah that's my yes yeah, shane brought <laughs> shane brought the movie here yeah hold it up for the the people watching us on youtube here it's one of the best movies ever made <laughs> it's got one of the best draculas in it, it yeah. dude that is it a really great is. dracula that really is a great dracula that's actually the best movie ever made if you google it <laughs> <laughs> That's why I brought it. Because I knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie. Dude, that's that Dracula. I grew up on that. You know, we yeah. all, I think we all grew up on that one. Yeah, that's pretty safe to say. That one is uh yeah, that one's solid. And but it and it's like it's not a just cheesy kids movie though. It's I think it's done like an adult. Pretty, we yeah. still enjoy it. And I think the kid says, like, son of a bitch or something. Oh, so, you know, it's not like some sugar-coated film. It's not our movies nowadays. Our no. Kids movies nowadays. Because oh, in this one, you got a peeping Tom, and that's acceptable. <laughs> yeah. Because right. he bribes her with the pictures. He <laughs> <laughs> I forget he blackmails her. Yeah. <laughs> you learn a lot from this movie. Yeah. A lot of good stuff for a little yeah. kid. That's right. Yep. And Wolfman, you learn Wolfman does have nards. Yeah, yeah you do. That's true. That's true. The one chick's not a virgin. You yeah. know, we find out about her virginity because yeah. she's trying to read it, and the, it does count. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't not count it. <laughs> but no, you know that y'all bring out a good point, man. That that Dracula, that's one of the best Draculas. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. You I will know. say though. The have y'all seen the Dracula Untold movie? Ah, uh, you like it though? It was on your list. Yes, I, I don't think it. so. It's a really good. It's a really good movie. That's the one you he goes up there and he out. makes the deal with the in the cave, yeah, right up in yeah. the mountains. It's supposed to be the origin. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's one of that. Other, yeah, other than that, that's probably my favorite Dracula. That's my favorite I'll make Dracula a note. base movie. Cause see, I, I'm a I am a Dracula nerd. I have actually. Dracula is my favorite um, audiobook. I've listened to it four times. Yeah. And uh, I usually go back every now and then just listen to it, which I mean, I'm, I'm on a tractor for 10 hours a day sometimes. Right. So, like, it, you know, you don't want to listen to music all day because eventually, as much as I love music, I've listened to the same song right. several times. And so, Dracula is one of them, man. I usually go back to it. That's when I watch. When we went to Utah and just came back, I was watching it on the plane because I last episode I shared how I forgot how much nudity is in that movie until yeah. I was watching it on an airplane coming Which back. Was that? Is that the Bram Stokers? Yeah, with uh, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. yeah, that one. I that one gets a lot of hate. I love I that one. Yeah. I love that I movie. It. Like it, and it's pretty solid to the 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 book. Like it stays pretty true to the book. Yeah. But I liked all of them. Now. In terms of Dracula, what about the OG Dracula Dead and Loving It with Leslie Nelson? Have y'all seen that one? I, did, oh, I don't. He I turned don't into a bat a few times. <laughs> I, don't, man, I don't remember bits and pieces of it, but I like everything he's done. Yeah, I watched Leslie. Something. Yeah, I watched oh, yeah. something he done the other day. It was a kind of a spoof on the Fugitive. Oh, wrongfully accused. Wrongly, yeah, I watched that. Yep. I forgot how good that was. I love those. I loved it. Top or not Top Gun, Naked Gun, all of the Naked oh, Guns. Yes, um, dude. That but Dracula Dead and Loving It. I watch it I every seen Halloween. That one. Dude, it's it is definitely one to watch. I would, man. I just talked about it last episode. I would play this clip from it, but I mean, I just played it the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> There's the guy Renfield. You remember Renfield and the regular Dracula with Keanu and them? He's uh. He's the one that's like master, you know. He's kind of like yeah, the yeah, Igor yeah, 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 to him. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, Renfield is played by the guy from Ghostbusters Two, that's like loves the painting, the little dorky oh, dude. Yeah, know you know, he's the one his eyes shoot out the lights, and he's like walking down the hall. Do you remember that? In Ghostbusters, yeah, the yeah. second one. Well, he plays Renfield, and he is the he is hilarious, man. That. He gets like molested by these two vampire women. <laughs> that scene, man. That's I played the audio of it on the last episode. I was like dying, man. It's well, I'm gonna have to check that out because uh, I remember watching it, but I don't remember because I love Leslie Nelson. I do too, man. I, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. These my listeners, they're they're okay <laughs> with this. I gotta pull this they up. Hear it again. Y'all are gonna hear this hear one more time. Yeah, I, I can see Shane really wants to hear this part. <laughs> 
Um, all right, wrong me. Wrong. There it is, man. This this scene is awesome, and I got the Bluetooth paired up here, so it'll be clear. There you go, audience. This is actually going to be a little clearer. Of course, we have the ads on YouTube. Gotta have it. But uh, that's what keeps it free, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess I can't complain. Which we grew up. I've done gotten, I mean, that's the thing. Like, gotten entitled, man. I'll yeah. talk to somebody about watching Tubi, and they're like, oh, it's got commercials. Like, how old are you? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're so entitled now. We're like these darn I can six take a, a seconds. Six second commercial. Yeah. All right. So for here you go, people. It's round two for y'all. So that's Renfield. He's at Castle Dracula. Are you doing to the furniture? <laughs> best, best part. What's you on about? What's all this then? Who are you people? I, I'll have you know that's my knee you're straddling. <laughs> stop, stop it at once. Oh, uh, no, no, this is wrong. This is wrong. <laughs> this is wrong, you hear me? Wrong. This is... <laughs> Wrong me, wrong me, wrong my brains off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one you got to check it out. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. I was gonna say if that good. if that scene doesn't sell you on it, I don't know what else would, man. That that scene and that guy is that he's that hilarious the whole movie. So now you've seen that one, haven't you, Josh? I have. It's been so long that I don't. And he he done another one too, where he was like the priest from the Exorcist, like oh. uh, Father May I or something was his name. Mel Brooks did or Leslie oh, Nelson? Leslie Nelson. Man, you know I don't know. He did. He's done so many movies. Uh, he was in Scary Movie Three. I don't yeah. know that I. I don't know that I've seen that. I one. remember him in that. Yeah, with Charlie Sheen and them. Hey, a priest. He's the president of the uh, United States. See, I, I watched the first one, and what was the one with the hand? His strong hand. That was number he two. Was strong, I think that's the last one I, yeah. I watched. I thought that was three. Now, three no, is, no, 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 no. Three is making fun of science. Yeah, three is the one that had Pamela Anderson at the end of it. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, no, she's she at the beginning, or yeah, yeah, the, beginning. the very beginning. You know, her and the chick died like the ring, ain't it? Is it, isn't yeah, it like the ring? It was something like it. I'm, That's the really the last good one. Anytime I see her, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, man, so so Monster Squad, I'm trying to think of what's a terrible Dracula now. Y'all got me kind of racking my brain. Mm, it's probably been a lot if you sit there and think about it. What about Blackula? I know. I never was, watched Was that. he Dracula? He wasn't Dracula, though. I thought he was a drag. I know, but I didn't say like Dracula's offspring. Oh, he may have been. I, I, he may have been. Do vampires do but they reproduce? Yeah, they got to. Well, but like no, I, I don't know because like in Van Helsing, he was trying to make all them eggs and then kept yeah. Popping. That's actually a question. I wonder if it's ever been answered. Does a do vampires reproduce There's naturally? There's never been a movie that I can think of where Were a, they like a vampire was born. yeah bore a. Uh, Vampire oh, no, wasn't there a movie where somebody was like a well, then Blade. Blade. Blade that, they yeah. said they was born vampire. He was half vampire. Okay. I don't know. He had to come from somewhere. Yeah, he was half vampire. <laughs> and the, well, the what the Stephen Dorff was, but not the ones in that table. He killed all the ones that was. Which blade is that? The first one. Okay. Well, and then Underworld, all those were like the head vampires. Were, were they born? born vampires? Okay. Dang. Thought we just uncovered something there. But I don't know where their moms were. Like, are their moms nurturing? I can't what imagine is, a vampire like mother. Granddaddy Dracula. Does he go play pitch with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to picture the like upbringing. Well, it depends. Was it the vampire granddad or the? Movie. Yeah, it would. So the softer side of Dracula, like him the human granddad, would go play. Those three girls. They well, no, they all got killed, didn't they? 
On which one? Those three, uh, his three sirens. Is that what they was called? Oh, in this? Well, no, like in then, the, the actual, yes. Yeah, they get killed. Yeah. Yeah, it is three in that one. It's two in Dracula the Dead and loving it. Um, but yeah, yeah, they get killed. And I guess a siren would be what they would call them, wouldn't it? I think it was. I'm not. Was those sirens? Sure. I thought sirens were like related Grenades. to the ocean. Oh, man. I don't know. They make they, you can hear their sounds at night or whatever. Yeah, I thought they were maybe because a banshee is the one you hear in the woods. It's a four wheeler, like the scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> four wheeler I never You're... had that I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, actually. Yeah, the Yamaha. Yeah, uh, no, the man, a siren. No, I think the sirens are like. A... Is that what call to the fishermen? Well, you got your encyclopedia right there. Yeah, because they were... You can look up some molesting. I'll do the Jamie. Like, molesting. <laughs> like, people lusted over, which... I'm sorry, in your Dracula thing you just showed me, they were lustful. <laughs> they were. They were lustful. What is a female siren? Yeah, it says often or any of a group of female and partly human creatures in Greek mythology that lured mariners to destruction by their singing. So that would be like okay. ocean. Thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, man, Shane over here. You know, you got the. What does it mean to call a girl the a knowledge. siren? Yep. <laughs> uh, if you call a girl a siren, it's a seductively beautiful or charming woman, especially one who beguiles men. A siren of the silver screen. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I got a song. Well, I got lyrics about some sirens. I thought, I thought I knew what they were. Did you write them? Yeah. What? Well, did, so I'm glad. Oh, uh, so I'm you were right. Right. Yeah. 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 You weren't like talking about it. That didn't say Dracula's three. You know, concubines women, or whatever the women that followed him that were half vampires. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah, man. You know, I don't know. I, I, I try to. I have my little list of uh, go to kind of Halloween movies, which Dracula Dead and Loving It, we've mentioned several. I always watch Halloween. I was very angry this Halloween. I honestly, you're probably going to hate me for this. Don't I'm not you a say fan it. of the old Halloween. Oh. <laughs> I like I like Rob Zombie's first one. The, that's, that's the one. The second one, it kind of got a little. More than I like, cared for, but uh, I did not like the old Halloween. Why not? I don't know. I just don't like the character. <laughs> oh man, mean. just I like Rob Zombie. Like, given you don't him like Michael Myers, his story. Yeah, I'm just not a Michael Myers. Cover his ears here, <laughs> <laughs> man. Well, he's a pretty good character. He's a psychopath with superhuman strength. Well, I know, but. See, and I, that's why I didn't like zombies version. I, I know I could have got away from Michael Myers, but like, he wouldn't be after you. He was after uh, that's what made Lori Stroud. Yeah, but still, he killed everybody, and he like he just walked and killed everybody. No, you'd life. have been you'd have thought you got away. <laughs> so you didn't like Jason either. Are you not I, a Friday the Thirteenth fan? I wasn't a big Jason fan. I like Freddy. <laughs> Oh but, man, Freddy's my least favorite of the three. <laughs> <laughs> I like Freddy was funny. Like I'm not. A, I'm a. I like comedy. I'm <laughs> Come on, man. Fred, Jason. Jason's hilarious. Friday the Thirteenth. <laughs> Jason is a. He's a man of few words. No, he weren't. They were soft core porn movies. They were just. <laughs> <laughs> that's what sold them movies. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. J Jason was a little bit better, but. Uh, I don't know. Freddy was my favorite of, of the three. Oh, man. See, I, I don't know. Like, I, And I enjoy some of the Freddies. I like the first Freddy. Uh, I guess that's the one with Johnny Depp, you know, before he's even anybody. Yeah. He's the one that goes up in, like, the tornado of blood. Yeah, from his bed. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that was a cool movie. And, and the scary thing, I guess, I get with Freddy is that, I mean, he kills you in your sleep. I mean, so you, you're not really escaping him. Yeah, hey, it was, I don't know. It was just a. I liked the story. I liked everything behind it. I thought Freddie was well thought out. Uh, well, all all of them are thought out, but the probably the first three Freddie movies. Like after that, the second one's bad. How long has it been since you've seen second that? Second one. <laughs> second one, like one's amazing because it's a real movie yeah yeah well, then, i got like the first four on dvd at house i guess i need to refresh i don't the fourth one's pretty cool the third one's the dream warriors that's 
yeah. the best in my I, it's the funnest. The first one's the best. Yeah. It's more of a try to scare you. The rest of them are kind of fun. Which one was New Nightmare? That might be the Is that the fourth or fifth one? Dream one. It had to be the I don't I don't know the names of them. There was so many. Yeah, there is. Yeah. But again, man, that see so with Michael, why I'll tell you why I like the original versus uh zombies. And me and you may have talked about this, but the way that I, reason why I like the original is because there's really not a lot of method to the madness besides the fact that he is, like you say, this supernatural evil to the bone dude. I mean, like, killing machine. he's a killing machine. You know, he, I, he'll just gouge your eyes out with his thumbs and then, like, go on to the next person. And then, and they shoot the crap out of him, shoot him off a balcony, and, like, he's just gone. Like, they go and look and, and they're like, where'd he go? You know, like he's gone. And so I like that about him. Zombies version made him a man. And I didn't like that. Like it, it gave Humanized him, him a little it bit. did. It gave him a backstory and you're like, oh, this poor guy who was abused as a child and crappy upbringing and stuff. And I was just like, man, it just, that makes him actually less frightening to me I because I, I, I do get it. I do get it. It's, it's, it's giving him an excuse. It is. It, it's, it, it's taken away. And I, that's that's the problem with the world today. Everybody's got excuses well, for yes. why they're. Well, you should stop feeling bad but. about him when he killed Danny Trejo. <laughs> <laughs> man, you should have been like, all right, I don't like that. I'm that did break eight. my heart because yeah. he treated him good. That's what he kept telling him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he was been always, good to you. <laughs> well, that's when he showed he's a he's a monster. Yeah, well, I guess, he, but he killed his only friend. I I just I like the just. There's evil in his eyes, you know. Like that's what the doctor always says. Like you, there's nothing in his eyes. It's evil. Like, yeah, yeah. But you ever watched any movie, like any documentaries on them old ones, like Loomis? How drunk Loomis was the whole time. He, <laughs> no. he could barely remember his lines. Like nobody liked being around him. <laughs> no, I did not. But that doesn't su- surprise me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to do it. He thought it was beneath him. He just showed up drunk all the time. <laughs> and but then those he old Hollywood guys. Yeah. It's a different breed. Yeah, it's just like old football players out there smoking and drinking while yeah. they're playing. Yeah. Well, that's like, uh, you know, in the original Friday the 13th, the woman that played the mother, she would she refused to return for the sequel because she said the movie was garbage, absolute <laughs> garbage. So, Did she do anything after that? I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, that's the only role I knew her from. But she, uh, they used snippets of her from the first one. But, yeah, she was like... This film is such trash. She refused to ever like, and she wouldn't, I don't think she even promoted the film. I'm pretty sure they said she would have no promotion in it because she was like, this film is so trash bad. I like the first one. I like really the first four are like pretty good to me. Man, five and six are so much fun though. (laughs) But I see, I'm a Tommy Jarvis fan. Uh, and he well, did. He was, he is was he in, in the fifth one? In, that's where he stabs him with that stake in the cemetery. Oh the yeah, hits yeah. Okay, that one the is good. Yeah, car. yeah. That one is good. That one's good. But I, I don't remember the sixth what one. What was the fifth one? Well, that's where Tommy brings. Tommy goes to the cemetery. Yeah. The storm, lightning strikes. He just leaves his buddy there to die. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember that one, I've probably seen it. And then it's got the girl in the red Camaro, like. You don't remember none of that? If you don't remember the Red Camaro. Then. I probably don't remember the fifth. I, don't, I may not have even seen it's that. It's got one. a cork in it. You know, no, I didn't. I don't think I seen that one. That's a good one. It's, fu- it, it it's is, not really scary, though. It's just fun. Yeah. Well, even that's, though you got these teenagers getting murdered very violently, <laughs> you're like, ah, they should have known better. Go like that what it Lake. became? Like, hey. <laughs> it's just campy. Yeah. Campy. It's a fun, campy one. Like, they did uh, t- the the newest one. They really did, and uh, we I've talked about that on the show. Their only thing with the newest one, they really tried that softcore porn thing because <laughs> there's like a ten minute sex scene where you're just like, "Good grief, man! Like this is <laughs> this is really going on yeah. for a long time." <laughs> is that where it's got the underground tunnels and everything? They try to clean up how you uh, fix it. I think so. So fast. It's that dude, the dude, and like this. They're in the bedroom, I think, just going at it. And I mean, like, they just, they are really going at it in there. And, uh, yeah, you're like, man, I, 
But Phil, you know they're, they're going to die. Yeah. Like there's, no, they're, they're doing it. They're dead. Yeah, because – and that one came out in like 09 or something, I think. Yeah. Um, And that's – man, it's kind of crazy to think well, there hadn't been a newer one since then. Well, speaking of the camping – uh. Kind of off subject. Did y'all watch the American Horror Story where they did the 80s theme? Where they yes, were I liked it. Did y'all like it? Yeah, I did like it. I did. And I'm not Which an American honestly, Horror Story fan. I really haven't. Like, like I've watched the first episode a few and really didn't get into it. I didn't care for it. But I did watch that whole season, and I thought it was awesome. AHS oh, really 84? It. Wasn't that yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Jesse made me watch it because I hate it. I hate American Horror. I hate, oh, I, I I hate do. everybody that's in it. That's the thing. I've never cared for it. It's a very but liberal I did watch show. That one and I liked it. Yeah. I like that. That one was good. Yeah. But I thought it I it was nostalgic, I guess. And that, that's that, why that, I liked it. And I think that's why I liked it too. I just I'm just, obsessed with the eighties. Right. <laughs> yeah, like I mean I wore my Time X T eighty for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, Marcy, right. <laughs> she hates this watch. I showed her a picture of it. I was like, check out this watch I'm ordering. And she said, you are not ordering that. And I said, I already did. I already did honey. <laughs> That's why I showed you after. <laughs> yes. Um, the, dude, I love this thing. And it even, it actually even lights up. <laughs> does it have a stopwatch? Does yes, it, it does. Man. Yeah, I mean, this is, Whoa. <laughs> this is pretty legit. Um, I love in AHS 84, the part, uh, all right, it's somewhat of, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to wade this like a non-spoiler. When the guy that was previously the Mr. Jingles, Mm -hmm. all right, when he comes home and sees what's happened, you know, he's like turned over a new leaf and he's working at the store and then everything has been mutilated in his home and he goes outside and it's raining and then all of a sudden how soon is now by the smith starts playing and he's like going back to killing us that whole little part is like <laughs> that plays into what we were talking about earlier like the music makes right. that man i was like dude I, like i'm going back and watch that scene just for that like Ding, like i can hear the song and that's probably why that one season we all like because the music yeah the music sat there and made one season fun funny like yeah I, that alone and they they surprisingly didn't gay it up yeah. like that was that was prob that's another one because that's where they lose me with american horror story yeah man they just they make it like ungodly sexual like everything yeah. and i'm just like but lord people love it though like they do i mean they just i don't know the people do eat it up yeah. and but like the new season because we watch uh lost we're just now watching lost did y'all ever watch that no I've I heard so many people got mad at the ending. I'm I know. Like, I'm not I'm not getting into this. I'm gonna be upset when it ends. We're at the last season. I know how it ends, though, so. <laughs> well don't uh, tell me because we're in It's like Game of Thrones. I, I wish I'd know. never would have watched Game yeah. of Thrones. Game of Thrones, I quit watching it. There was only, after so much gay sex of watching it, I was like, I just can't handle it anymore, so I just quit watching it. <laughs> like, like I, I never watched of any of it either. I, and I quit watching it, and then I talked to some buddies, and they're like, dude, all the homos get killed like right after you quit watching it. And I'm like, I just can't do it anymore. I can't stomach <laughs> it. I watched, me and Marcy watched True Blood. We were like big into True oh, Blood. The first season was good. Yeah. And, and then that happened. Yeah, and that's how, like, now if I try it, because I, I told her one time, I was like, let's go back and watch some of it, which now I've gone back, and I'm like, good God, this this really was like a very softcore porno. But I watch it now, and I'm like, I don't know how I made it through this show, like, now. I never watched any of it. It just, I, and I like some of the characters. Um, I like a lot of it, but by the fifth or sixth season, it was getting pretty well, dumb. Stuff like that gets... It's hard. Because I don't. You got all these creatures from wherever growing up, and they're all in this little town, and people are surprised when they're there. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so wait a minute. This guy turns into a dog. <laughs> yeah. We got, and they sell vampire blood in the stores, but they're shocked that this guy turns into a dog. Yeah. Or that I forget there's a about witch. That. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's the name of the drink. It's true blood. Yeah, that's, that's right. So the vampires are out and open, but they're shocked that anything else is around. Yeah. Like, wait, what? There's werewolves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of world is this? <laughs> and then so fairies. against yeah. werewolves. Yeah. <laughs> and then the vampire, like, what are they doing here? <laughs> well, and it's, you know, I, I guarantee you there's something in there about some, like, I bet you there's some like interracial thing going on there because some underlying narrative. Yes, I, I bet you that's part of their theme because 
Sookie, isn't it Sookie? Yeah. I, I'm getting mixed up between Snooky. I never watched Jersey Shore, but that I. That's great. Yeah, Snooky and Sookie. <laughs> they loved it. <laughs> well, you know, Sookie is dating the vampire, Bill. Uh, but then she also, doesn't she hook up with Alcide? You know, he's the werewolf. I don't remember. Like, I didn't watch it. Oh, it, it got goofy. Yeah, me. it did. Right. So she's just all over the board. But then it turns out she's a fairy. So, yeah. you know, it's like, <laughs> like I, I remember Marcy, which it was funny. We were watching it. And, yeah, she gets to the point, and they're like fairies. And she's like, this is just too much. And I'm like, <laughs> we've been watching a movie or a show about vampires and werewolves, and suddenly fairies are too much for you. Like, she <laughs> <laughs> draws the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've had enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got people turning into dogs. <laughs> Must not be a fan of Maleficent. It had a lot of fairies. In well, it. she likes the Disney oh, stuff. Okay. She's a Wicked Still. fan. Did y'all ever watch? I've never I seen didn't it. Watch Wicked. They love Wicked, which they they like musicals, and I'm I'm not very I like, keen I like on Mal- uh, Maleficent. Though it was is that good. with uh, Angelina Jolie? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I ever watched it. Well, Wicked is that pretty much what the last Oz movie was? I think so. Yeah. I like that story. They go to the play at the Warfield. I've wanted to see that. I'm yeah, not a, I do I'm want to see the play. play person. Yeah, I would want to see that. But then you got to go downtown. Maybe it'll come. It ain't that bad to... going to the Warfield though. I mean, you you ride around like down Riverside, go up, and I mean Where's it's it right at? there. It's right by it's Memphis, the right? Majestic. Yeah. <laughs> the Orf- well, terrible. I mean, but you, you get around. You get around the crap. It's not ever turn the news on. You get around, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. The, but it's around. It's like you're, you don't go through the middle of. Hey, I know it's right there at that parking lot for you. Yeah, it's like it's that, right across like from that. the majestic, ain't it? The majestic, the majestic uh, grill. Yeah, can't don't you come out of there and like right across the street is where the Orpheum? Majestic is? grill is. I know. Oh man, that's it's a good one. From the Orpheum, you know, you come I out think. Of the Orpheum so you go right in the majestic. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sounds easy enough. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. You know, y'all, y'all bring up a point there. Uh, going to because I'm assuming the Orpheum probably has a no guns allowed thing. Inside, probably Inside? shoot people outside. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a. I know y'all have both seen the movie Heat. Oh yeah, love that freaking movie. As much as I hate Robert De Niro now, I, I like kind of. I just have to. That was before I knew how. That's grandfathered in, like because that is such a bad to the bone movie. But there's a meme of it shows like, I guess it's Robert De Niro. And he's like looking, you know, like looking very ominous. And it says, when I conceal carry into the post office to get my mail. And it's like <laughs> what he feels like. And that's it, man. If you ever conceal carry yeah. where there's a sign that says no guns allowed, you kind of you kind of feel like an outlaw. You're like, I am above the law. Do, when you, uh, <laughs> do, you, do you get the right to do that if it says no guns? Yeah, federally. Well, I don't know on a post office because that's a federal building. But, like, if you go into a restaurant, like if you went to Buffalo Wild Wings and there's a sign on the door and I think it says no guns allowed, I'm pretty sure if you are in there and some guy comes in and he, like, tries to attack you or somebody and you draw and shoot him, I think from a federal standpoint, in Tennessee at least, I'm pretty sure you're covered. Well, I have to ask, how, oh, we're going to try to get ours, yeah. our carry permit. Yeah. Something here close. You don't even, well, you know, I mean, I, Marcy and I both have ours, but, you know, Tennessee is now a constitutional carry. So, you know, you don't even have to. Well, but, but you got to, to have it concealed, you got to have the permit. Do right? you? I think so. Yeah, I think okay. Gotta, I thought with constitutional carry, you could conceal uh-huh. regardless. Well, you know more than I do. Yeah, I was thinking you had to have it out in the open if you carried it in Tennessee. I should have brought my uh, my thing. It's funny because my in my wallet, my driver's license, I actually got that picture. I, I had no beard. Like I <laughs> was shaved. And then my, my concealed carry, I got a lifetime concealed carry permit. My beard was like even longer than this. And it was on like a, I had obviously been at work or something. It was kind of wild looking. So like the picture, it's like a huge beard. And then just my head, like right here. <laughs> like I look like, like I look kind of dangerous in that one. Like they're probably like, oh, I don't know if this guy needs yeah, yeah. this. Like <laughs> hell's anger. Yeah. Yeah. They're like this <laughs> deplorable yeah, son true. of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, I don't even know how we went and got on that rabbit hole. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was a long way to Dracula. Dracula. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that led to <laughs> our carry Dracula. permits. <laughs> I wonder if Dracula has a carry permit. Uh, 
All right, now, I know Josh's take on this movie because I've asked him this one before. Shane, I don't know that me and you have talked about this one. What about Interview with a Vampire? How do you feel about that one? I love Interview with a Vampire. It's, my man. It's, my man. You don't now, care for it, do you? You said there was some weird stuff between them. like the Antonio Banderas <laughs> and all that scene. Man, they're vampires. They're... Oh. they're Hey, at least it was made then and there. not today. Well, I think they redid it, didn't they? Ain't there like I a, won't see it. Like a new nah, one, like it, WB it, version of it? It's or a CW version series, yeah, series. Yeah. I bet that, I don't care to watch that. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. If they made, I guarantee you, if they made that one back then, today, the dudes would kiss. There's no chance they wouldn't kiss. Yeah. I mean, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Well, I mean, what? I guess they didn't have not much for it. They gave each other hickeys, kind of. So, yeah, yeah, because I guess they do bite each other. But don't I mean, they? vampire. You know, they're it's violently, but they're yeah. sexual beasts. They, they are. You know, that's, they're <laughs> Who did that? Animals. Who was that girl that done that? Anne Rice wrote it. Yeah. She wrote the book. I mean, uh, the stat was like her main dude. She wrote a whole bunch of books. Yeah, there's several with him. Yeah, old Tom Cruise's I like character. That Queen of the Damn movie too. Did she like, write it? Yeah, it had a little stat in it, so I'm assuming okay. that. I don't know that I ever watched Queen of the Dam. Cool. I've seen some of, of it, but I don't like remember it at all. I like the soundtrack. Yeah. I had it. It was just a... It ain't much of a story. It's a depressed rock star vampire who's been around since ever. Well, what's yeah, Anne Rice's deal with depressed? Because Brad Pitt's depressed as hell the whole time in an interview with a vampire. How the hell you live thousands of years eventually you get depression <laughs> i don't know i think that's the stat one yeah he mad. was living it up man yeah, he wasn't even mad he got fed to the gators well he but was... at some point i guarantee you <laughs> he, he still had... wearing the same outfit at yeah. some point he had depression i guarantee it i did when he's floating around with them alligators <laughs> yeah like, look at this shit yeah <laughs> He, everything i did for that guy he does look terrible by the end of that movie you know he when he's like i guess when he comes he's in a he's rough road yeah when, he, when he's playing the piano god he looks like a corpse and i know what it, what was he doing from that time he got fed to the alligators to like 100 years later when he showed back up like all he did was bite christian slayer and he was back to normal yeah uh, that's right I, and i was thinking where the heck is christian know. slater these days he's, on, he's on archer oh really I didn't know he was even doing anything anymore. The yeah. funny, like Archer, the the yeah, uh, cartoon. cartoon. That's a pretty funny show. No, um, I never watch it. I, I seen. I, I me and him used to live together. I watched it a little bit, but I don't ever watch it anymore. Well, Interview with the Vampire is solid, man, I, and that's like a powerhouse film because I mean, you got yeah, you got Pitt, Tom Cruise, Antonio Banderas. At the time, Christian yeah. Slater was a big name. I mean, the nineties was like his era. Yeah. I don't know if that I came out. Kirsten Dunst turned up to be Man, I forget. Big. Yeah, she's the yeah. little girl in that. Yeah. Yeah, man. I was trying to think of any more. You know, werewolf films. We've talked about a lot of those. I will say something funny. I was reading about Blade. Now, in Blade Trinity, they said that, uh, what's his name? Can't yeah. think of his name. The, Snipes. Yeah, Wesley Snipes. He was like such a dick on that set that he like, they're... They CGI'd his eyes. Did y'all read that? Have y'all read about that? There's a part where he's laying on the table and he's supposed to be like asleep. And he does, they do something to him and his eyes like, boom, like come open. But they're very, very fake looking. They're that very they're brown. Or... It may be they're, they're like, it's, it looks kind of comical if you go back and watch it. And they said it was because he was just being so difficult. He refused to open his eyes. Well, that so... movie's kind of goofy anyway. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, R Ryan Reynolds, I think, talked about how horrible Wesley Snipes was on the set. Like, he was just mad at everything on the set. And, yeah, they, they famously had to CGI open his eyes because he just, they were like, all right, open. And he just wouldn't open his <laughs> eyes. Like, he was being such a dick. Hey, that movie, I, yeah. I like the second one. It's my favorite one of them. Yeah. I like the first one, too. But the second one, they're making another one of them. A Blade? Mm -hmm. With Wesley Snipes? No. They were like, man, no more CGI. <laughs> I don't know if he wanted it. seemed like I seen they wanting a girl to be Blade, and there's a lot of that makes sense. upset yeah. about that. That makes sense. Like the next 007, I think they're wanting to make out a girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, 
that's you know the the Texas Chainsaw. So before we get into one, so Josh is he he's been experimenting down the Hellraiser hole. Uh, well, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I haven't had a chance to watch the the one with Dennis Hopper yet. Oh, you didn't? I thought you'd check out a little. I bit. haven't had a chance yet. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to. Which I like Dennis Hopper. You know, I liked him in Speed. I'm not an Easy Rider fan, but I did watch Easy Rider. Um, but uh, the new one is so bad. I made it 15 minutes in and turned it off. <laughs> it's very, it's super political. Like it, the grand that your main characters. It's like three people from like California. They're probably in their 20s. It's two chicks and a dude, and the chick is a victim of gun violence because she's got, like, a scar, and it shows her swiping through her phone, and it's a nothing but anti-gun, gun control memes. And <laughs> and then this guy, they pull up at a gas station. The typical redneck pulls up in a big lifted <laughs> truck, and he gets out. and Shoot his gun in He's got air. a gun on his hip. <laughs> he has a 1911, and they're like, look at his gun and one of the girls goes wonder what he's compensating for <laughs> and like uh and so they're making fun of his guns and all this stuff well then they get into town there's a confederate flag flying and all oh, they got to have something to say about that i mean it was in the first 15 minutes it was like the most political film i've ever seen in my <laughs> life and so i said just i was like okay i turned it off and this proved how bad it is IMDb looked up that film, yeah. and people in the the critics said they ruined this movie with politics. Yeah, if movie critics are saying that, you it's know bad. it's bad. What's funny is though, is they brought gun violence into a movie where chainsaws kill people. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> not any I guns. Like. <laughs> I don't know how the movie turns <laughs> out, but from what you said. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Leatherface does not use an we AR-15. Ban, yeah, we should ban chainsaws. I probably in probably got my battery-operated chainsaw. <laughs> yes, one yeah. cut back on yeah. greenhouse <laughs> gas emissions. Lithium. Yeah, Leatherface yeah. don't went green. <laughs> yeah, well, it was bad. Now, now it, I kind of want to see where they went with that because I mean, how do you go to you know? How are they plan on beating yeah. Leatherface? I don't know, man. I it like. It would pain me to I go back and watch. A gun, you know, would help. That would, you know, that would have really helped them. It is in funny that situation. Yeah, a lot of the the anti gun heroes. It's like, dude, if you just had a nice forty five or a nine millimeter <laughs> right now, you could end this pretty quickly. Right. Which that's see, I'm I'm very like violently angry about Halloween ends. That was the yeah. worst. Have either of y'all watched it yet? No, I haven't. Well, I had, yeah, I text you something about it and you tell me how bad it was i didn't like the one before this one i was like well, i'm not wasting my time well like this one take the badness of the one before and multiply it by like 150 and then you get halloween ends see i wanted the, that last one to be good because of what's his name's involvement in it oh uh, he's bound and down guy danny mcbride yeah well he wrote this one <sighs> He wrote it. He's yeah. He was one of the writers. <laughs> well, he wrote the. Did he just direct the last one, or did he write it too? I don't know. Well, and he may have just direct. I'm thinking he was one of the writers on Halloween Ends because I hate that guy now. Like I'm not a fan <laughs> of his. <anymore. laughs> I hate everything he ever did. Yeah, now. like Eastbound and Down. Not even funny <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Would he take his mask off and he was a female? <laughs> He might as well. Hey, I'll tell His you. The only words he ever spoke was, I'm trans. Yeah, they, them. <laughs> they, them. That, let them. Let them write that. Dude, that that movie is, Michael Myers is relevant for 15 minutes of the whole movie. Like, So it's basically just a build up to finally see my, or have anything to do with Michael Myers. Sort of. I mean, you, you see him and... Uh, See, and he's a man. They make him a man. Like, he's no longer in this one. Because, I mean, dude, like, how many how many Halloweens are there? They have, like, shot him, yeah. run over him. She cut burnt, his head off yeah, at H2O. Yeah, burned him up. Yeah, decapitated <laughs> him. But now, he's a man. He, cry, he cries in this one. Oh, he, he, might, he might. Hell, he might. Oh, I'm trying wow. to remember. <laughs> He says, I'm sorry. Like, my bad. He says, I'm sorry, and takes Laurie's hand, and that's how it ends. Oh, God. <laughs> no, that's not how it ends. But <laughs> but honestly, I wouldn't that, have been surprised. Well, that's, that's what you, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. The way they ended it, it really looks like the end. 
of the Halloween series, but it was so bad that I want them to just ignore the last two and just come back out with another Halloween. Like I'm like they they owe another one just to do justice for the garbage of this one. But they they're not making good movies, so it's, nah. Yeah, and that's what I, mean, I was going to say too. What are they going to do to make it better? What What do you consider a horror movie? Because I don't. They, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I don't really consider that a horror movie because it's it's a man. I mean, it's gore. Yeah, but it's something that can be killed. Yeah. Or like Jason, if they would do that, that guy can't well, be killed. Like versus yeah. a ghost. Yeah, that's something you can't stop. I guess you, I you tried to stop <sighs> yeah, him for the past about 40 the, years. I'm talking about the movie Ghost. With, with Patrick Swayze. <laughs> that's definitely a horror, horror film. That is terrifying. <laughs> That pottery scene scares the shit out of me. <laughs> hey, that's a great movie. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I will. I'm a fan. I am. I'm Swayze crazy as an ex guy, man. You know, I'm like, I'm very open in admitting that. You like, didn't like Ghost? No, I love Ghost. Oh, okay, you know, okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm a huge Swayze fan. Roadhouse is my one of my favorite films of all time. Roadhouse I, is a good one. I almost turned it on. I was like, it's not a horror movie, but I I, I could watch it every night. Man, you know everybody enjoys Roadhouse. That's man. right, man. I mean, it's got Even everything. Peter Griffin. Yep. Know, he <laughs> is he a Roadhouse fan? Yeah, 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 you ain't seen that scene. I don't guess so. He goes, goes around and kicks everybody. <laughs> just, oh, does he say Roadhouse? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yes, I have seen that. Yeah. He drives his car Roadhouse. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, no, no, no. That is a good question, though. What does classify technically is horror because uh, i think texas chainsaw massacre is horror i mean it's gore it's well it's scary to those people but the original but is not gory i hate the original it ain't even gory oh, if you go back and watch it there's like no blood did you know there's no blood in halloween the original they couldn't afford blood i don't yeah there now they're, i do yeah there there's not not even when she's in the closet and she's got her arm Slice, there's not a little bit That's of blood. Real blood. They couldn't afford the face. Yeah, they actually blood. just cut her. Uh, they were like, we can't. Chop her up a little. If I remember right, there is like, there might be a minuscule amount, but there, I'm thinking there was zero blood. Cause how, they, how can you not afford blood? Like, you don't need it. Though. They used it. Man, they took a Captain blood. Kirk mask and painted it white. They were broke <laughs> as hell. You know? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Like it was, uh, I, I don't know, that it, but that's part of what made it so good. They didn't rely on that gore. Like I'm not as much of a gore fan, which, and I always give this caveat of giving it on every episode on here. I love Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, and Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 are like in ungodly gory films, but it's like so over the top that it's unrealistic. Now, I don't enjoy, see, I'm not a Saw fan. Like I don't enjoy uh-huh. Saw I don't, I don't care for it. I don't like the like gore just to be disturbing. Like it doesn't really do much for me. Yeah. Honestly, my favorite Halloween movie is The Crow. And it's not gory. It's not a horror. I don't consider it a horror movie. It's a love story. An action but film to me. It's, yeah. It's Halloween. You know, Devil's Night. That's, yeah. That's my favorite Halloween movie. Yeah. Now, whether you consider horror or not, I don't, but. Uh, he is a ghost. Yeah, I mean, he's a he's spirit. a living dead. So yeah. yeah, that's your definition. He's a supernatural. Is that what you'd say to be a horror? Does it have to be supernatural? To me, it would be. Yeah, but I mean, I don't, the first one of that was that's scary. supernatural. Yeah, I mean that. But I like after that one, it's like all right, it's kind of not scary no more because he's just after that little group. Yeah. I guess like the Freddy and stuff too, because if you live on it, if you don't live on Elm Street, yeah, if you live over here good. on Oak Grove. Yeah, right. <laughs> what if they just moved? What if the <laughs> people that were that were having nightmares were they like had that's no yet. affiliation with that? <laughs> yeah, we're moving off Elm Street, and they just moved like two houses over, but it's right off of Elm Street, and he has the best sleep of his life. And he's like, Man, that was great, no nightmares. <laughs> that's what was funny about Freddy versus Jason. It was like Camp Crystal Lake was like 10 minutes down the road. From Elm Street? <laughs> yeah. you know, have you ever seen it? Yes, they but it's been so long. They loaded that van, and they just like, we got to go to Crystal Lake. And like 10 minutes later, driving there they in are. the van, they're there. It's a bad like, neighborhood. God, what, that what, is. What state is this? Yeah, it needs to be, needs, it's got to be California. Like. <laughs> got to be. I did. Uh, I have not Lake, watched Lake that. Tahoe, yeah. You know. Which one is it? Where is it? Jason X, where he's in space. space. Yeah, oh, that one. 
is funny. The bar was set pretty low. Like I, I feel think it was meant to be that way. I, I hope it was. You know, yeah, it, that that was had to be. Well, and it was Freddy versus Jason where they make the pinball sound effects, isn't it? Where they yeah, bounce they around, bounce him over the thing. Yeah, I was like, okay, man. Yeah, they're they're just like at this point. I think they're probably like drunk as hell well, right yeah, now. Stretching it with the entertainment and just making I like money. That one, <laughs> I, I'll watch that. That's one. If it comes on TV, I'll watch it. Freddy versus Jason. Until like a commercial. Well, I'll give it another shot. I haven't watched it in I'm years. I'm not saying it's great. Which I mean, saying, Freddy, you know, act, in the if, dream world, Freddy does stuff like that. He's funny. He does, you know, yeah. like he, he, well, he screws with people. If he, you Google the greatest film ever made, it's actually Freddy versus Jason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear. There's quite a few of those. <laughs> Freddy versus Jason. Uh, I think Ghost is up there, too. Somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're gonna. I'm waiting for him to remake that one. Of any, I feel any Patrick Swayze film, you're just like Red Dawn. I refuse to see the remake. That's terrible. I didn't. That's what I've heard. I've never watched it. I think I've wa- no. I don't think I have watched it. I can't watch it, man. I, I may have bought it and haven't watched it. I got a lot of movies I've bought and just never watched it. I've got some that I've done that too. But I no I'm man. Still I, in the cellophane, still in the wrapper. I like having a physical copy of movies. Yeah, me too. That's, yeah, yeah. That I. Which I don't have Netflix. I don't have internet at the house. I got to. Oh, so you have to have them, man. Either that or watch it on uh, direct TV. Yeah. Dish. Dang. Dang. Well, all right. So, Supernatural. Like, uh, you got me down another. We're going to go down another route. And then we'll go into the the last last topic of it. But uh, Supernatural. Have y'all seen The Conjuring? Yes. I have what do you think of that one? The Conjuring. That's the one with the doll. I say uh, no. Well, I, Annabelle I, I, I is the, the one with the doll. Start that? Yes, oh. Annabelle is. She might briefly be in the Conjuring. I think. I think I liked it. I'm honestly. Uh, I did think I like. Like I honestly hate any horror movie like that's been made probably the last twenty years. Yeah. But I think that one was pretty good. And another movie I liked until the very end was Sinister. I never watched it. The ending dawn. The movie was awesome until the very very end of it. And it sucked. It, it made me so mad. Is it well, one of them that's in their head? <clears throat> I hate those movies. No, I'd have to watch it again. Uh, I, it was so I, bad I you blocked it. Yeah, it was like I'm erasing this. From my mind. What about the Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse? Shall I ever watch it? Uh, I hadn't watched that. Dude, some Dolly Parton. Yes. <laughs> well, I love Dolly Parton. Yeah. Probably be a pretty good movie. He's got her on it. Doesn't he have a shirt? He's got his little pocket. And yes. He's got Dolly Parton on. That movie is great. You I need to watch zombies. it. Zombies. I think that's the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> you don't I, just zombies. I don't. Not a light them. Night of the Living Dead fan. I'm, a few. I like. What's the one when they're in the mall? That's got is that Dawn Ronnie. of the Dead? That's Dawn of the Dead. I like that one, and I like Zombie Land. Yeah, yeah, Zombie Land. What great. about World War Z? Well, those are different zombies. I like World War that's Z. Like I do too. A, that's like a infection. Yeah, and that's kind of twenty eight days later. They're like really fast. I, I like the twenty eight days, but like coming back from the dead, I hate it. The zombie part of it. Yeah, I don't because you shoot them, and all this blood flies everywhere. I'm like, well, where did they get that back from? <laughs> do you ever see like, Fido? Yeah, man, you watched that. It was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was kind of funny. I think it, we it was just so bad. To watch it. I was, bought it. We yeah. were going to watch it after work one night, and we got. I was like, this. Is I could I couldn't remember, but yeah, like a zombie back in the fifties. <laughs> they had him on a leash. It was a classic. Did you ever watch Black Sheep? Not with Chris Farley. Uh-uh. Uh uh Chris Farley is what came to mind. Apparently. Mind. I've seen so we I was a buddy of mine actually used to live in this neighborhood right across over here and he he rented black sheep and it's about these killer sheep it's a swarm of killer sheep and uh, I remember we went over there to watch it it's a horror movie like the black plague something it'd be like the the turkey have y'all seen the thanks killing (laughs) no. <laughs> it's kind of it's in the i can only imagine i do want to see the new movie with santa killing oh, i do too that looks, uh, that violent looks night cool. have you seen that violent night that it, looks awesome looks badass and it's original that's what i appreciated yeah. about it it looks very original yeah. santa like comes down the chimney to just 
do his thing and there's a dude with a gun there yeah i think dude's like robbing people like his family or got him hostage or something and santa just something that mel gibson done one a couple years ago where he was Santa. i never saw it but that's right i never seen that the government comes to end christmas yeah he's like he ain't having none of it Well, that's kind of how this is. Because the guy's like, who are you? And he's like, I'm Santa Claus. And like kicks his ass. <laughs> how great. <laughs> and I like that guy from Stranger Things. What's yeah. his David Hopper? David? No, he's Hopper. Know his name. The, I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the but, cop. Yeah. But, uh, man, no, we were watching Black Sheep at his house. And then a tornado actually hit Munford. And so I had to, there was like a tornado warning. So I was like, I better get home. So I had to leave. So I didn't get to finish it. So I yeah. never saw how it ended. But. <laughs> It was definitely not a great film from what I'd seen. <laughs> Killer sheep. And see, a lot, yeah. that's like a whole thing. A lot of these people get together and they watch terrible horror movies. And I can't do that. If the movie sucks, I cannot it's watch it. It's just not enjoyable. I got it. Yeah. I can't. Uh, that's, that's why I don't watch horror movies because 90% of them suck, especially everything they're making now. Like, it's the same you'll be story. lucky to find a good one. Yeah. You I really remember, are. I remember. What was that movie I bought? Uh, Drag you to hell. Oh, yeah. Drag me to hell. Drag me to hell. Yeah, yeah that movie's. God. Yeah, well, the ending of it was. Yeah, stupid. isn't that the I one mean, where they kill I, a damn I think kitten? That, I think that had some killer goats in it. Didn't <laughs> the, it? Yeah, the goat started yeah. talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this. The old, that, old gypsy lady put a curse on him because she couldn't get an extension on her house. That's <laughs> true. Isn't that the one where they killed the shit out of a kitten? I might have. There's a little kitten, uh, and at that point, I'm like, I'm kind of one of them guys. I'm like, Probably. You, I'm like, it's... kill the people, <laughs> spare the animals. <laughs> Damn cats. If it was a dog, it'd have been a different story. It might have been a dog. I don't know. <laughs> you know, that, so John Wick. You know, like what he did is completely justified. Man, they killed his dog. You know. Yeah, John I, Wick. Yeah, he stole his car too. That's yeah. right. That's right. But man, the dog is I think just the dog irreplaceable. Really got him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. No. That. But. I'm the same way. I can't watch. I bought one one time called The Woods at Walmart. This was like probably, it's probably about 15 years ago. And uh, it looked really well. Apparently, all of their budget went into the design of the box (laughs) and the way this stuff looked. And they spent like $7 on actually making the movie. Did The Woods kill everybody? Man, all I remember (laughs) was there was some. So they went the typical horror route. It was like a group of people go to like a, a lake. And they were very mm. spoofing off of uh, Friday the 13th, right. but it was supposed to be serious and scary. And they were like a group of idiot teenage people. The chicks are naked and like a large part of it. They're ugly as hell. Like you can tell they didn't. You lost me there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. It ain't your like normal Friday the 13th chicks. <laughs> Uh, they're ugly and uh there's like a weird um oh man the only scene i can remember the chicks are like laying out in the by the lake and it's kind of dark and this weird like hillbilly is like hiding by a tree and i'm pretty sure he starts taking it to pound town over there <laughs> by the tree and like and then some people start getting killed but the, the, <laughs> yeah, like, that's how it goes <laughs> yeah. He actually gets killed uh, he's, <laughs> while he's watching. He gets murdered. Um, but yeah, it he was deserved it. You got to keep your guard up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it was so bad. I, I just I was angry at that fifteen dollars. You know, that's back when a DVD oh, was fifteen yeah. bucks, yeah. man. You didn't even get it out of the five dollar band. No, no, it was one of the like, and like I said, it was the, a premiere. It was a new movie. Yeah, new in the box. You're like, this is gonna be good. The one that looks good and i'm telling you i've recommended it multiple times blood vessel have y'all watched it no all right it's a vampire flick and i'm a vampire fan hey i'm a vampire i I love vampire movies if you like a good like wicked looking vampire like they're not in human form they're in like the full-fledged like you know when the whole time yes that's kind of original Yeah. yeah it's it's ghost ship meets like uh, just killer vampires. I mean, like, I don't know how else to word it. Like it's, it's based back in like world war two. And these people are on a little boat and they're stranded on the ocean. It's like four of them, maybe even maybe six, but they find this ship in the ocean and it's like a Nazi journey, like a Nazi ship. <clears throat> and they get on the ship and they're going through and there's like this feral child on the ship. 
she like bites one of them and they're like what the hell you know she like bites their arm well that's part of the well she's a full vampire child never mind thought that was part of our uh interracial oh yeah no yeah no. um no i don't i don't think i can't remember if she's a vampire yet she may be a vampire already uh but she bites one of them but somehow in the mix they're like exploring the ship and somebody finds these big like wooden cargo crates and so they're they're typical they're like well, let's see what's in here and so they open them up and it's like a casket looking thing and they're like let's see what's in here <laughs> and so they, they open it up and it's like chained if i remember right like it's yeah. it's it's basically like for the love of god don't open this it's like basically on top of it and he's like let's see what's in here and Pretty so much how the beginning of monster squad is yeah. except on a plane <laughs> yes yeah do not open yeah and so they do open it and it unleashes like the i mean the the vamp i'm a fan of monster films and like these are they're monster vampires like they're they're vicious looking creatures so no man i appreciate it um they it's it's good man it's it's not you know, it is not going to be one that people are going to be like, well, it's the best film, but it's just yeah. an entertaining could, vampire movie. Yeah, like, I wouldn't mind watching I was it. scrolling through Netflix and I come across the babysitter. Yeah. You seen that? Uh-uh. Good. You seen it? No, I've heard something about it's it, though. It might have been from you, brilliant. though. Really? Yeah. And it's, I wouldn't think so because it's, I can't think of this girl's name. She's in it, but I even liked her character in it. Was the whole thing's just cool. Is how it starts. I've seen it on end. Netflix. Even the second one's good. Well, I'll have to check. Who's the chick in it? I can't think of her. She's a. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't. She was Espen in one of the Adam Sandler's movies uh, when they went to Africa. Uh, you would know. She's a Disney oh, kid. Uh, uh, you would know her name. She don't know. I don't what know her she name. Is. I know who you're talking she's an about. Animal sometimes she's. Uh, I know who you're talking about. Name. I was gonna say I'm lost, man. Yes, but it's the oldest daughter. His oldest daughter in Blended. Yeah, Blended. You ever seen? Nah, movie? I didn't. What's her name? Blended. Bella. <laughs> Bella. That's Thorne. a good movie. Oh, Bella, Bella Thorne. She's in it. But that's the chick. You need then. to watch yeah. that movie, Blended. She's not. Is the, it good? Yeah, she's yeah. not the main girl in it, but she's in it. It starts out the babysitter and all this. It's at the very beginning, so I'm not gonna give nothing away. Yeah, she's wanting to do a sacrifice. But the kid she's babysitting sees it, and it's shenanigans and so probably <laughs> yeah, it would not be good to see your babysitter yeah. sacrificing something. Yeah, because she's this sweet girl who's like real cool with the kid. She's babysitting like she drugs him up so he'll go to sleep, and you know, of course, the drugs don't take. <laughs> and, Why would they? And he goes yeah. peeking out there and. You know, she murders somebody. Well, that means the kid's already on drugs. He yeah. knows. Hey, yeah, you know, I didn't think he's about got that. a tolerance. The drugs don't Man, take. He's, yeah. Yeah. he's already on. But drugs. it's good. Like the whole movie, it's funny. It's, yeah. it's just a good movie. But I was very surprised. Is it scary? No. It's yeah. just funny. You gotcha. All right. Well, I'll go. Yeah. I, I just need to know what expect expectations it's, to have. It's a uh, it's horror related because it's got something to do with the Satan. So yeah. Because see, what I, they're doing the sacrificing for. I just recently got Bobby Lee to watch, and I I wish I hadn't recommended it because there's so much other better films that I, he could have watched. He don't watch hardly any movies. From Dusk Till Dawn. I love From Dusk Till Dawn. It's, it's, it's good a, it's until a, they change into yeah, the vampires. But that's and, that's it's the part fun. that makes it for me. <laughs> right. Dude's up there playing a body, it's and awesome. then he don't even fight. He just explodes for some reason. Because <laughs> of the sun, maybe. I no, don't know. the sun went out yet. He was just done with his set. Like, how did they have time to turn this dude into a guitar? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's maybe I just like it because Quentin Tarantino did so much good that I just you know give give him credit for that one too. And Selma Hayek, good God, that's so well, exactly right after that. It just is terrible. That's well, exactly it's... what I told. I was that's where I messed up. I was yeah. telling him about it, and then I told him about Selma, yeah, and he was like, to "I'm s- gonna have to see this." Sure, right. said, Stop it at this scene. <laughs> yeah. this- think that's how it ends well he he texted me later that night and he he just sent me a picture of a vampire danny trejo <laughs> yeah. and i said what'd you think of it and he said it's kind of stupid <laughs> <laughs> and so that's it's when i was like oh. but that's why i i'd like i like to know 
that's why I say, is it scary, kind of funny? So I, I know kind of what to expect because <laughs> horror films, watching a lot of them, I, I've said before, I go in with a very low set bar, like especially vampire movies. It's like, man, I'm already, I'm going into a movie about a creature that lives off of human blood and like can't right. come out during the day. already don't believe it. Yes. Like I'll tell you the worst vampire movie, terrible movie. Did y'all ever see Once Bitten? With Jim Carrey? Yes. I love that movie. <laughs> you like yeah. that movie? <laughs> I haven't seen it in a long time. You going, you're going to put that under Twilight? Like, and you're so a you're Jim Carrey fan. Twilight's better you're a Jim Carrey fan. Well, I, I was. Now he's done gone on the loony wagon. I'm still a Jim Carrey fan because I like his loony wagon. I think, I think, I think he's just done a lot of drugs, honestly. Maybe that. But he... I still love know, his he, old films. I still love his old stuff. He, he, he's gotten a little too woke, but... You know, Jim I'll Carrey. I'll give him credit for one thing. He sticks by what he says. If like he's the, one of the main ones about the gun stuff. Yeah. He don't want no part of it, and he'll go off on other celebrities for doing stuff. Well, well, I think his last thing he did was like kick ass. Yeah. He had guns and that, and he he wouldn't promote it or nothing. He didn't even take the money for it, from what I remember. Really? Well, I think <laughs> it's funny though because if you watch like how he talks about his existence and all this kind of stuff now. And, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a spiritual thing for him. I get it. But I can see exactly how he talks about himself and how he views the entertainment industry in his performance because he, like, had no humiliation. Like, he would just absolutely kill as far as comedy. With, oh, yeah. With no cutoff, no embarrassment. Like, he would kill... And I think he really like he's you know got that level of enlightenment in his life, and he maybe because his comedy, what you know it, it's something that you have no level of shame doing. It, I mean, it's yeah. it's off the charts compared to what other people would do. Well, yeah. and I, and I like I've always appreciated that because which I I'm I grew up a Stooges Three Stooges fan, yeah. so I like that kind of slapstick over the top. And I mean that is that is him. I mean yeah, Jim Carrey was like. I mean, I don't know how many times I watched The Mask. I did just recently rewatch Ace Ventura, uh, both of them. Watched both of well, them. I rewatched that, and rewatching that, like I said, you see a lot of his high, you know, like how he believes and yeah. things. You start seeing a lot of that in his old comedy once yeah. you watch it and how stupid people are. <laughs> I mean, you really, <laughs> you, I don't know. I After, like, it makes sense how he is yeah. kind of to me. Well, that's true. And I mean, and that's why I still give him credit. You know, he's he. I still will watch it, which he's not. He didn't go as bad to me as Robert De Niro. You know, yeah. Robert De Niro was the one that was like, "I want to punch Trump in the face." Uh, like when you ain't seen well, some of them pictures that Carrie painted neither though with decapitating Trump. And oh, was he stuff. decapitating yeah. him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he's pretty far down the road. Okay, yeah, I haven't seen them. But I mean, that's Hollywood. We'll just know. erase what Shane just yeah. said. <laughs> Jim Carrey right, so sucks. Anyway. He's terrible. No, I, don't, I don't care either way. But you know, that's just how he. You know, that's, <laughs> he. Uh, but like he said, he he stand. He's kind of behind everything he promotes, and that that's that's the one thing. Like I I kind of respect him. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's it. That he's is funny. what annoys me with like Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, he preaches about global warming, but Why, then he flies everywhere. Yeah. Like he's he's right. he's producing like a tenth of the total global greenhouse gas. Yeah, yeah. The best line, still one of them to me. I always love. I remember I used to rewind this and watch it all the time. And Ace Ventura is when he's going up to his room, and it's such a simple line, but just the delivery. There was two. The first ones when he's going and he's unlocking his door. And the landlord comes up behind him and he goes, Ventura. And he goes, yes, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is when he goes up to the house and he's like, hi, I'm looking for Ray Finkel. And the shotgun <laughs> comes out and he goes, and a clean pair of shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those you were, wonder if that's ad-libbed. Or... Dude, with him, it's no telling. Because he was I think good. a lot of his stuff. He was good back then. Yeah. 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 Maybe Jenny McCarthy. Ace Ventura, too. I love <laughs> Maybe. Because he, was, he wasn't as loony until she left him. She might have just jacked his brain oh up, God. man. God, could you imagine having that and not? <laughs> Jenny McCarthy was hot. Where? Yeah, yeah, she was, man. And now she's with uh, Marky Mark's brother. Donnie? A new kid. Yeah. She with Donnie? She's been with him for really? a while. I don't know that. 
Did uh did y'all see the number twenty three? I liked it. Yeah. What was that? I didn't. It was you didn't like it? I didn't say it. What was uh, it? It was actually pretty good because it was such a out of his realm, like uh yeah. out of the norm of what he did. I liked it from that element. It was finger oh, I guess you could kinda a make that a hotel. Horror, like an It's movie. kinda yeah, it's no it, he had a like an obsession with the number twenty three and it was everything would everything, add up to yeah. twenty three and he was even like what was he? Wow. Fingerling was his name. Fingerling or whatever. Remember the like? Yeah, it was something like that. It's a I very a strange lot. film. Like it, yeah. It's 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 different. I it, did like it though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wish that's the greatest number. You know, Michael Jordan, twenty three. <laughs> yeah, greatest athlete of all time. <laughs> Better throw that in there. There you go. <laughs> I don't. I don't watch it. I'm no I basketball you know. guy. I can't give you much you much know. cred there. But that movie always makes me think about it. <laughs> yeah, the number twenty three. Yeah. Maybe the guy that wrote it was a Michael Jordan probably. fan. So he was like, "I'm just going to turn this whole movie. That's probably my passion for Michael Jordan. I'm going to write a really sh- kind of bizarre film. Going to cast Jim Carrey for it. <laughs> Take him out of his element. Yes, all because Michael Jordan is the best. That's, that's why he did it. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, any any supernatural. What's like as before we move to the last part? What's your what's your go to supernatural? Horror. Movie? Yeah. Mm. And normally I wouldn't watch stuff like this just because I do believe in it. So like the paranormal activity stuff. Yeah. And I, for most people, they're so boring to watch. But I think, I'm like, I'm going to watch some of this. I'll watch maybe like 10 minutes over. They're like, nope, no more. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I've seen that first thing move and I'm like, I'm all right with that. Yeah. Because I watched all of them one time and... They went to their grandparents' house, like, on the third one. Have you ever watched any of yeah, them? Yeah, I've seen all of them. I think I've seen, like, the first two. Oh, when uh, Towards the end of the third one, I think, when the grandparents started doing their thing. Yeah. I go, oh, man. I remember <laughs> seeing <laughs> previews for that, and I was like, no, I'm not watching that <laughs> See, that's that normally <laughs> the how first I am, two, and I, I can't, and I watched and them I during think, the day. Yeah. I wouldn't watch them at night. Yeah, I think I liked the first one, but, uh. I do remember the previews for that, and I was like, no, I'm not watching the grandparents get possessed. Like, <laughs> something about that. I just I wasn't going to do it. Well, I don't remember. It. Was they possessed, or was they just – that's just what they were. Oh, I, can't I can't remember. remember. It's been so I, long. Well, I I've watch, seen them. I just, like I said, yeah. I've seen the previews, and I said I ain't doing it. Because it folded that dude up like a suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing, too. In that time, it was that early 2000s. Why did everybody walk yeah. like that? Like, they all started – Folding up and walking like spiders. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch these again. It's been so long. But, it's like but those were good. The first one was really awesome because, you know, they just like they did with the Blair Witch Project, you know, they, they build it as like a true story. Like, it's like, dude, this yeah. is like real. So, like, you don't know going into it. Is yeah. this real or, you know, am I watching it? And, like, they really hyped it up from that because it was actors you had never seen before. So, it's like, man. You know, this might be legit. Like, these people videoed. So, that was one of the cool parts to me on Paranormal Activity. What about you, Shane? What's supernatural? Well, I mean, the crow's technically Powder. supernatural. I just don't... <laughs> <laughs> Is that a horror movie? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's hard the to crow is supernatural. Though. Yeah, I'm... Like, but, I absolutely love that movie, but I don't... But They're one that's really, going to scare you. What movie just scares you? You wouldn't want to go home. You wouldn't want to watch it by yourself at night. Uh, well, Paranormal Activity, that's one. Uh, I don't know. I don't, like I said, the the horror movies I watch, I don't really register as horror movies. Yeah. Not, it's, it's not stuff I'd watch at night. Or that I'm scared to watch it night yeah. anyways. Yeah, like the Predator's not mm-hmm. scary at night. Yeah, that's what I've never understood. Like, you know, you talk to girls and they want to just watch horror movies and get yeah, like, I don't scared like that. of everything. Like, no. Why do you want to feel that way? Let's <laughs> laugh. Yeah. Let's have a good night. <laughs> why do you want to watch something that's going to make your you face so half scared the movie. <laughs> and lock every door and then put couches in front of the door? Why don't, Wake me up during the middle of the night. <laughs> see, I'm a weirdo there because, <laughs> see, Marcy wants no part of horror movies. She won't watch them. I want to watch them, and I can't get her to watch them. Does she not watch uh, the Crime Channel either? Like, 
every nope. other girl she used in America. to when she was in college her and her roommates would watch criminal minds yeah. and but she won't watch it now she will she is completely anti-horror at this point well that's good so she sticks to her guns <laughs> you on the other it's hand. not good for me yeah it's not good for me like um, you want to watch them. yeah and then i'm and then i have to stay up by myself in the living room and i'm watching them and i'm like man what was that? Like, did I hear something in the kitchen? Scare yourself. Yeah. And so, like, and, I, I mean, it, yeah, it's funny how, how that happens. Like, just having somebody sitting on the couch. Like, you can be like, this is stupid, ain't it? And it's like. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big sissy for that kind of stuff. <laughs> if I'm going to watch a scary movie, it's probably going to be during the day. Yeah. yeah. Not that, I don't know why that matters, but I guess I can see it coming after yeah. me. In the I, day. And still. I wrote been i'm I'm trying to dabble with like writing a horror screenplay and i have actually creeped myself out writing it at night like i'll I'll try writing it at night i had to quit because i was like having nightmares from it at night the hardest part i imagine i could write a good one would say like you you could write like the i guess the the main character but writing what everybody's dialogue is going to be that would just be hard to do yeah Maybe I should try writing a horror movie because I hate them so much because I don't like a, like hardly any of them. Yeah, Maybe just, I should try one since I think I know what's, you know. You should try good. one. Maybe I should try it. Well, I always felt like it was a good thing if I was getting scared of my own writing because I'm yeah. like, if I'm scared myself, then it's got to be pretty scary. I'm like, because yeah. I'm like getting myself freaked out. Yeah. Like, and because I've come out here and wrote sometimes i used to do that some in the morning oh, i bet that's nice and eerie yeah especially <laughs> at night when i would come out because then i i turn off the lights and if i didn't have the carport lights on when i walk out it is like pitch black and it's like hey yeah. man. <laughs> there's nowhere to go now. No. once they come through that door you're like eh. well you got these two knives there's a couple here. knives yeah i could launch them at them uh throw a glass there's no gun in here but yeah there there is some all from a drink hey let's sit down let's talk yeah about let's it. talk this out come on man <laughs> man, man. <laughs> i'll grab this bull head and be like hey you know, try to kill him with the horns that could be pretty cool that, yeah i know it's only april but uh we can go ahead and work on our halloween special on the podcast there you yeah. go yep <laughs> <laughs> yeah no but it does now all right we built up to the last thing and I got one other question. Here it comes. Before we get there, because <laughs> Josh has made me think of it with his shirt. Josh has on a Rob Zombie shirt. I want to know what's your favorite zombie. What is your favorite zombie song? Or no, actually, here's what I want you to say. Or There's better. I got a better one. Many. Got a better one. What do you think is his most underrated song? Not, you know, because everybody's like, Dracula, I love Dracula, and, you know, like all that. But what is. What's his most underrated one? I couldn't tell you. Well, my favorite from Rob Zombie, White Zombie, is Blood, Milk, and Sky. That's a good one. Yeah, and I, I like think it. it's that got song. The, you got the sirens me. and that. You yeah, know, that's that's well, a, it scared me because like ten minutes after it's over, it comes back on again. Yeah. Like so, and then it that, goes off again. Yeah, I know, but just they come in like it's <laughs> silent. They're I remember, back. I remember listening, and I was playing like Star Fox when all that came out. You remember Star Fox? Oh yeah, sixty four. Yeah. yeah, so I'm into that house. game. Finally, learn how to fly through these little things, and you're into it. And all of a sudden, there's quietness, and you don't notice it until it comes back. I'm like, Jesus, and then you crash, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> that's but, a good one. But I don't. Man, I don't know. It's hard for me to remember the names of all that. That whole album, though, the movie was like... Which album is that? I know you like the first one. Uh, Astro Creek. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's... Love that album from start to finish. He's got a, a song I came across. It's I guess it's pretty popular because it was on YouTube, but I ain't never heard it. It was Sick Bubblegum. Oh, yeah. I love uh, that one. Yeah. yeah, I ain't never Sick heard that Sick one Sick Bubblegum. Yeah. Or yeah. And uh, was that from like earlier stuff? Because I know I they had know. a lot of earlier uh, stuff too. I didn't look at the date on it. Is that no? That's a that's a later one, I think. Oh, that's a more was recent. That, yeah, well, honestly, I haven't heard. I haven't listened to anything since uh, Educated Horses. Like I heard, I listened to some of it. What was the poi venomous rat thing? Wasn't it off of the like? Was it man? Maybe it wasn't on that one. Uh, I probably but it, hadn't heard it. Then. It's one of the newer ones. 
I'm pretty sure. Well, when I say newer, I'm still thinking it's probably 15 years old at this point. I think the newest one he's got is Shake Your Ass song. It's, I think is the name of it. It's, it's kind of a dirty little cartoon he did. Yeah. The last album of his I bought had uh, a cover of an American band on it that, that was, was pretty that, legit. That is a cool song. I like it. Yeah. Uh, but now, and I don't think Sick Bubblegum was on yet. I can't remember. My favorite one is Return of the Phantom Stranger. That's Oh yeah. That was a good one. That's my favorite. And like no I've never heard anybody like mention that or jam it. But man, I just I love that song because it's creepy. The yeah. the video of it is creepy. You know, it's like a dude in the graveyard with like a weird looking face and it's like Miss this blah blah. It has like some <laughs> weird like sayings at the beginning. <laughs> and that, that whole song is awesome. It's even got like organs kind of sound and stuff at the beginning like yeah. i don't know i like that one jesse yeah. bought me his last record and i've listened to the whole thing like just, i'll just put it on and i'll even flip it but i can't tell you none of the name of none of the songs is on yeah the i've just listened to it which I, album is that his newest one his newest one is what was the the video of the song he's black and white he's walking through the snow <laughs> yeah i mean not that that helps telling you what the name of the song is. fargo i don't think <laughs> I get a wood I've never watched me. that movie. Fargo? Yeah, everybody says it's great. I've, I've I'm a Cohen Brothers it. fan, but I've never watched it. I've wow, watched we it. none of us have seen this is like one of the you know, everybody talks about Fargo. <laughs> yeah. None of us have seen Fargo. I guarantee you all three of us have seen Raising Arizona. We're gonna, oh, I've watched it multiple times. I have it. What? You have not seen Raising Arizona? No. Nick Cage. Oh man. Uh-huh. That was I'm like not a big Nick Cage person. This was I like Face Off, and I like Kick Ass. I like him in that. Well, this is this is golden Nicholas Cage. This is like what made Nicholas Cage. He's like hurt. a. I don't even. Like, he's a petty. They still a thief. baby. Still a baby, and people love him for the it. name. Don't yes. even ring a bell. <laughs> Raising Arizona. Well, it was probably came out before you was born. No, it could. It was probably right around the time you was. There's yeah, a was the early age. There's man. an apocalyptic motorcycle rider that's coming to like kill him and take the baby back. You don't remember that. Ain't that a, a uh-huh. Ty or the what was that guy's name? He Tex, was Tex Tex uh, Cobb. Or Tex Cobb. That's it, that ain't it? Name? I'm pretty it's, sure. He was in Ace Ventura. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, the guy he's with the, the dog. Guy. Yeah. Oh, the uh, uh, shit at the very beginning. Yeah, he, yeah, he's like beating up the package. Yeah. And the guy has the dog. Yeah, that's that's the dude. He's broken. Probably yep. is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he plays the apocalyptic motorcycle rider. Yeah, I've never seen that. Oh man, it's it's a good one. It is. Uh, well, Cohen Brothers, but you know, I'm a No Country for Old Men is like up the that's at the upper echelon for me too. I, I didn't like. I, it. I didn't care for it. Why not the ending? I didn't. I don't know. The ending Actually, is just kind of nothing happened at the end. He just left his hotel. Yeah, right? I, think I fell asleep and didn't finish it. Oh man. But didn't care to finish it either. Oh, that is awful. Do you think it's, I've heard he's supposed to be the same guy. Do you think it's the same guy? What do you mean? Like, uh, Shigar? the dude shooting everybody with the tank is, uh, the main character, the, was it Josh Brolin? Like, uh, they're supposed to be the same person. Oh, I don't know. I ain't heard like, that theory. Josh Brolin's really the one going around killing everybody. Why do they think that? I don't know. It's just something I read. I didn't. I didn't like the movie. I didn't. Oh man, I don't know. I loved it. I, which I love the whole theme of it. I mean, because you know, I love the part at the end whenever Tommy Lee Jones is talking about how, like, you know, his dad's gone ahead. He's got like the torch, and he's he's going. And he's like, you know, it's it's just not a country for old men anymore. Like, and because and Shigar, like, I've had people who are like, I hate the ending. I'm like, I love the ending. Like, and they're like, he gets away. I'm like, yeah, it's like realistic. I like a. I like that kind of realistic end, like um, Mystic River. I love Mystic River. The ending is, and and people yeah. are like, that ending is awful. And I'm like, I love the ending to that movie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a I'm a fan of villains getting away. <laughs> yeah, stuff them. I mean, well, I mean, depend like, I mean, in real life, like most that's what I'm saying, yeah. and that's why I like it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I do sometimes. I root for Freddie, like. Yeah. How do, how do they always I've, figure it out? Yeah, I'm pulling for Jason sometimes. <laughs> I mean, some of, you know, some of those kids deserve it. Oh yeah. In the new Halloween, I wanted Michael, fun. I wanted Michael to kill everyone, and then I wanted him to come out and kill Danny McBride and all of the other people that made the film. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Do you feel like if, that? If, if the ending, if that would have happened, well, that would have satisfied Yeah, I'd you. have been like, okay, hey, it can end. <laughs> he just broke the fourth wall. <laughs> yes, broke the fourth wall. And then you see him go backstage, and there's oh, the Danny. Blazing saddles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah. yeah, they're Went dancing. Back and yeah. him. <laughs> so that part ruined that movie for me. I hate it. I, right. will, push, I will push stop. Before that. they break the wall. It was such a good movie till that. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I, I thought that was pretty funny when they break the fourth wall. Uh, it was it. so good. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined it. Oh, man. I, All right. Well, go ahead. What were right, you going to say? Go ahead, go ahead. All right. Let's go. To end the show, our final kind of discussion. Man, so Josh already revealed his cards. He he is a believer in the, the, the supernatural. Um. You know, I I have said on the show many times, I can't say that I've honestly ever had like a actual, what I would consider like a ghostly encounter. And I mean, I've I've gone and kind of tried to find some. Like I've gone to places. <laughs> Josh is shaking his head. Um, like there's a cemetery down here, actually on Double Bridges Road. We got a farm down here. I never knew it for a long time. And me and some buddies when we were teenagers. We were walking in the woods and we stumbled upon a cemetery of babies. It was like an 1800s baby cemetery. Like all the headstones, you could barely read them anymore. They were so old, but they were from the 1800s. Yeah. We went back down there on a Halloween night at like midnight. And I'll tell you, man, it was it was uncomfortable. Like you just felt yeah. weird. Well, that was a scary movie right there. Killer ghost babies. Yeah. That would be pretty ghost dang creepy. Baby cemetery. Yeah, I mean it was creepy. So, so let's hear it, Shane. So, are you are you a believer in the supernatural? I'm a believer, and I'm I'm sure you've heard some of his his stories. I've lived on that land <laughs> for my like pretty much the entirety of my life. Yeah, and I do believe just because of at. It's enough evidence for me. Yeah. Have you had any, do you still have stuff happen? I've never really had anything like just personally happen to me. I think the one thing I will say is I did have one night where this was when I was living with my parents. Uh, I had a terrible night of sleeping. I felt like I had the whole night somebody was saying something in my ear. I couldn't remember what it was the next day, but they kept saying the same thing in my ear over and over and over. Yeah. Couldn't slip terrible that night. Next morning I was sitting in the living room and I talked, you know, mom come in and everything. And, uh, like, how'd you sleep? Uh, she said, I, I just couldn't get good sleep. I felt like somebody was saying something to me the whole, she said the she same said exact that, thing yeah. that, I was, and you had not told her anything dream. about that. I yeah. didn't even say nothing about it. Yeah. And she said the same exact thing. And I've had a, an ex girlfriend that, you know, one night waking up in my house when I wasn't there or the next morning after I done left for work, you know, early in the morning, it's still dark saying that, uh, she heard, you know, saying, get out. Yeah, like, well, I'd be stuff, like, see you later. Like, I'm getting out of here. Stuff like, yeah. <laughs> cool. But <Yeah. laughs> thanks, thanks for telling me. <laughs> Just save me the trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk about a Shane set up a little <laughs> set up a little speaker, and he was like, "Get out." <laughs> uh, but and something too, Granny. Granny and Papa always back in the day, you know, it won't hurt you. Just, <clears throat> and I feel like it, as long as you're not doing to, nothing too stupid or evil, ignorant, that it hadn't, I had never been bothered. Yeah. I've lived there my whole life. Heard a lot of stories from our family. Yeah. I've had them little things, but nothing, you know, has really bothered me other than those. Did Granny and them, did they Did they talk about it? Did they ever well, acknowledge I mean, any of that stuff? I was I was small. Yeah. Whenever I wanna, they was around. I want to say they, but they, just they said, heard 
kids playing and like i think there was a blanket incident one night but i think they were comfortable with all of it because they had been there for so long they were like alfonso be quiet in the hall out there we're trying to sleep (laughs) it always happened in that where we had christmas and stuff yeah because that's that was the original building it was a hospital well it was beyond those doors yeah and they added the living room the living room yeah so it never came down or they never came down there i don't know how many it was or nothing like that that's what's crazy about your story. About yeah, you got to you got to share share some of the stories. Oh, it, well, see, before yeah, he reminded me of this. Before, I think before what happened to us, we took a buddy of ours. You know, we had he had his dogs. Oh, him. that was after. Was it after? I yeah, don't, I don't remember because uh, uh, it was done. The, yeah, the night, yeah, yeah, yeah. The night y'all stayed dumb. over there, I was real young. I was at my house that night playing Nintendo 64 when y'all come over there. So Don, he had like this big, this mean pit bull. Like, yeah. he was a big, just, you know, I say dogs, they sense everything. Yeah. Well, the dog, we're in there just walking around. In the, in the house? In the, yeah, in the uh, living room where we all, where the TV was at, where we stayed. Dogs were Granny fine. and them alive at this point? And they no, are, no. okay. And uh, as soon as we get up those stairs, the dog kind of starts acting a little funny, and then we get to where Granny and M's bedroom was, you know, where we had Christmas. The yeah. dog sat down and started whining. Our drinks went flat. <laughs> I, and the dog would not move. And this was this is a massive dog. Yeah. So we just started crying. So we was like, all right. <laughs> so we, and you're right, that was after we did. Yeah. That, we seen what we seen were y'all do were y'all in there just to see if anything were y'all we, we was just over there that day because i had one of his puppies and i think he was just right we worked with him so yeah he just wanted to walk through there and i think we did talk about it, see if the dog would yeah act funny and it did that would so, be pretty freaking i mean that would be freaky yeah, is that is that how you remember the dog just yeah, yeah i'm i forgot all about but then that y'all got too another beer opened it just went back in there went flat again the drinks would all go flat in there yes dang that is crazy (laughs) yeah uh but the big one is it was me caraway eric you was awake but you was in your bedroom i was over at my house yeah we had uh and me and eric had walked around the house the day before yeah we was gonna try to scare everybody so we tried to open some windows could not open windows went in the bedroom and looked see why they wouldn't open unlocked and went back outside tried to it was like painted shut or something yeah. i don't way we, we couldn't open we tried yeah and so that didn't happen so we came back that night it was like it was a couple of us it was me eric Carway, and a couple of other people we were just sitting in the living room, hanging out, you know, talking about stuff we heard. And uh, I think it might have been Sam, one of Kerway's buddies. Yeah. yeah. Started hollering, like, where's the ghost? Where's the ghost? Like you know, taunting them a little like, bit? Yeah, I you know. Stuff <laughs> yeah. you shouldn't do. Exactly what we did at the <laughs> yeah. cemetery. No, just, yeah. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, and then You scared the, of me? <laughs> and then it, it wasn't long at all. You heard, like, three loud boom 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 and these doors you remember what the doors are like their own car yeah just vaguely but yeah doors. yeah yeah and we all just kind of froze they flung open for not even a second like both doors flung open and slammed shut and we kind of sat there and like, <laughs> all right <laughs> i think i was the first one out <laughs> and uh i seen shane's Shane was awake, so I ran over. I said, where's your mom and dad? And he was like, are you in here? I said, well, I'm coming in. So yeah. I went, Hall is asleep and <laughs> on the couch. Lisa's in bed, so they didn't do it. Yeah. And I, yeah, because that would have been pretty that, – that I wouldn't have put that past Hog to do something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Go over and mess with them. Yes. But the way the doors flew open, I mean, there's no way yeah. anybody could have done run. that. I don't care what kind of string you had or – Yeah. Know, it just – and then there wasn't, there wasn't no way anybody could do that. Yeah, so that was after that. I don't think I went back in there at night. I do remember going, but that was during the day. Yeah. Oh, that was during the day. No, no, no that was, with that the was dog. it. Got you, got you. With the dog, and that but was, now the windows were open, weren't they? Too. The, yeah, we come back that next day, 
and the window we was trying to open was wide open was wide open man that's got to be pretty chilling it was and the whole time man eric's talked about it too the whole time we lived there we hated going across that yards and bushes the whole time we thought we heard somebody talking to us <laughs> uh, i guess we really did yeah ghosts I, do exist yeah. And at my house next door, yeah. before it burnt, me and a buddy from work was sitting there one night, and out of nowhere, just all of my drawers in the kitchen flew out. I mean, that ain't a house settling. That's right. Yeah, mine do that all the time. I thought that was normal. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. mean that's not normal? The knives <laughs> stick in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Spell out, get out. Yeah, that's why the sheath is on those. They, they're bad about flying <laughs> and right. stuff, man. Dang. Oh, you've learned your lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was normal. Yeah, yeah but that's that's my experience. Well, that's why I think I, I'm a believer in it. Man, it would be hard for me not to want to find a new place if all the drawers suddenly flew open. <laughs> but nothing else ever happened. And I can't figure out why that happened. And yeah. Oddly enough, the guy that was hanging out with me, he left, like, right then. Yeah. <laughs> He's, I'll see it work tomorrow. And he oh, loves evil. Will you? Will you see me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that guy was never seen again. <laughs> yeah. And then after that happens, you got to pick it up and go to bed. That's what yeah. I'm saying, yeah. man. Like, how do you go to bed in there? You lock your door uh, on your way in, just hoping. I don't know. You just go in there and lay down and hope for the best. Oh, man. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. I've went to bed many a night feeling eerie over there. I mean, it's just, I don't know. Which. After you, you've you known all that's happened <laughs> throughout your existence, some nights you just kind of feel uneasy when you go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is it was the noises, is that why, like when I used to spend the night over there with you, you would always play like some, like I can remember us jamming some Nirvana as we went to bed. Is that why? Uh, that was just you were like, we're going to, he's like, I'm going to drown out those voices. The, the ghosts are like, if he just turn off that damn Nirvana. <laughs> That's yeah. what scared them away. Yeah. They didn't like that. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> Kurt Cobain's they were yeah. fans. That's it's why they hung around him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this music's really bringing me down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Music making me want to go to hell. <laughs> screw being a ghost dude I, I told mom that one time she had she had told me some some story or something about the kids i used to hear yeah. kids in the hallway and i was like isn't that where i used to play and stuff when i was there and she was like oh yeah and i'm like you let me play yeah, in like the most play haunted the hallway like yeah that's, that's like the worst place in the, the house you remember the blue room Oh, man, vaguely. Like I said, vaguely. <laughs> the back room, the back room. By the bathroom. That was the room that, that room. was, was that not one of the worst ones? God, I hated that room. Well, so I never went at the bathroom. You looked up, there's a hole in this, or a crack in the ceiling right there in the bathroom. You're like, oh, get out of here real quick. <laughs> I don't remember. I didn't like it. The, the bathroom all the way back to the front, to the double doors is where I would run. Like, <laughs> from the time yeah, you were in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that big house, they only had that one bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I was... Yeah, that, but I mean, it was because it was haunted. We was told that our whole lives. Too. Yeah. <laughs> what did some of the, do y'all remember some of the stories you were told? I remember what the, the perfume. I don't uh, remember the perfume. Barbara and the sheets. I remember, is I that remember the one when the she sheets. got held down? Yeah. All right, yeah. I remember that one. I don't remember. Chad I, got slapped in the face. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> I remember something like that. Like yeah. They slapped, or they slapped him, but I don't, I don't know. The, <laughs> I want to say Chad told me that. But I don't remember the full. It's been so long. Yeah, you just yeah, you just hear stuff your whole life. And what was the perfume one? I don't know that I've ever well, heard that. Barbara, one. like she was held down in the bed, and uh, the like, I guess the smell of perfume was like real. That she could smell real strong. Yeah, like, yeah, it was like real strong or something, or it was something like it. Yeah, for for reference on people listening, yeah, they like she. I guess she woke up one morning and just couldn't get out of bed. I don't know if I was in the morning or at night. Oh, or man, I, like It's been so long as I heard these stories. Like I remember the stories, and I remember something about the doors slamming. Uh, I think it was your dad. Well, no, that was me, the doors. Did Uncle Ray have a, some stuff happen? If he did, he won't He won't say. He, yeah. He don't, he don't like talking about stuff like that. It's like, oh, nothing ever happened. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's lying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just make 
picking it up. <laughs> He's like, it's normal for the doors to fly yeah. open and the drawers to come yeah, open. It's just settling as life. Yeah. <laughs> so the wind blew the right way. Yeah. That's what I blame everything on. If I ever hear a sound in my house, it's either settling or it's the central air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my excuse. Well, that's how, you know, dad, dad, uh, I've asked him before because I mean, I've asked mom, we've talked about it. And I mean, from stuff like that, she's yeah. like, you know, I, I think that it's, I think the ghost probably exists. Dad was like, nah, not at all. <laughs> he was like, I have coon hunted in the worst woods I've ever imagined. <laughs> he said, if something was out there, it had got me a long time ago. Is what his, well, <laughs> the ghost ain't out there to get you coon hunting though. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> look at this guy enjoying himself <laughs> yeah. coon hunting. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> yeah. It's not a horror movie. Yeah, they yeah. don't really do that. They don't kill you. They and just he's got a, you. Yeah, and he's got a gun, so he's already a, a like he's not the the horror. He would fail the yeah. horror test. He's got a firearm, right? And a dog. Like he's he was like both of them because yeah, the dog could sense it. Yeah, maybe maybe that's why he never had it because the dog well, sensed it and was like, I'm going to take him, him the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's like, go. I got to protect right. my, my, my owner. So I'm going to take him away from he the didn't spirit. Take him to the coons. He took him away from him. the ghost. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> you ought to ask him, has your dog ever just not wanted to go the way you <laughs> yeah. wanted to go? Yeah. I'll be like, back then, did you ever notice sudden diversions and where they would go? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They sense that shit. That, that's how, <laughs> man, like I said, that's why, that's why that night with Tipper, I was like, okay, I'm not just imagining yeah. this. Like, cause she was, she was riled up. I don't know, man. It, it's been weird stuff, you know, like, I, and then in this house, I've never had, I can't really say I've ever had anything. The only scare I ever had in this house, um, cause I moved into it by myself when I was 19 Yeah, and it has an alarm. I'd set the alarm and I got woke up one night to the alarm going off. And I'm going to tell you, that's just, that is unnerving in and of itself. Right. Like, now, most listeners of the show know I am a pretty strong proponent of the Second Amendment. So, like, I'm I'm pretty well armed. So, I did, I mean, I had a gun, and I went up there, and, like, the alarm panel shows you, like, where the sensor was that's going off. And so, I, I saw it, and I went and found, like, what it was, and it was just, I think the sensor was going bad. But I still, like, I cleared the house. I walked around the house. I went out. I did go outside, but I locked the door this time. I had <laughs> learned my life. lesson. So yeah. <laughs> I locked the door. So that guy would have been screwed because he'd have been over there like, oh, shit, he's got a gun and like tried to get in. Um, but I did. away from you. Yeah. Yeah. He'd been like, now he'd have been, the tables would have turned at that point. But uh, yeah, I, I went around the house, went back in there, and I was kind of rattled for a little while just because it's kind of, it's a little unnerving. Yeah. But I don't know, man. I, yeah, I've, I've never, knock on, knock on wood, I guess, as much as I say, like, I'd like to have an experience, I don't know that I would. But do you believe? Man, I, I, I see, I've wrestled with this because I'm like, do I believe because I believe or do I believe because I think it's cool? Like, uh, <laughs> it's kind of where I find myself. Now, I I definitely believe in demons. Like, because yeah. from a biblical standpoint, demons are, are real. Like, yeah. they're, you read about it in the Bible all the time. So, demons are real. That's why, I like, you know, The Conjuring is a scary movie yeah. because it's a demon in this house. And, uh, I mean, and who's to say, you know, I don't know that what was going on then. might It could have been demons in that. Because that, that was a hospital. Wasn't that right? It was a hospital before they lived in it. It was something like that. I don't yeah. think it was like a... I don't remember. They've told me what it was. I don't think it was like a hospital. It was like a doctor's office. Something like I that. I think they said 10,000 people died in that place. <laughs> <laughs> All in one hour. In one, one night. <laughs> <laughs> that doctor was... He was exhausted by the end of that night. <laughs> I have put it at work. Well, see, you get it if, when you do believe in that. You're like, oh, that just takes you down a whole bunch of different rabbit holes. Well, see, wouldn't the doctor be the ghost though, since he's uh like the evil one instead of the innocent people he killed? Maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's, that's right. Maybe that's why these kids got left behind because that would that kind of makes you feel bad for them too because you never figured out what they was trying to tell right. you for them to go on. See, I've had a guy say that he had a uh, un. What is it? Unfinished business. Unfinished business, yeah. That's what I, I had a guy say that he thinks that it's like there's so much energy 
like uh that we produce that that he's he said it's essentially like their energy has remained like he i can't remember how exactly he was explaining it like he doesn't he didn't think that it was like the actual soul of the person because you know like i i believe when we die you go to heaven or you go to hell like your soul goes one i don't believe in like purgatory um but he was like i think it could be your your energy is remained here so i mean that's like i had a buddy in covington and they lived in one of them old houses up there near the square you know they're like civil war era homes and they had a basement down there and they said it was haunted. So naturally, we slept down there to try to see if we <laughs> <laughs> heard anything. And like I'm like, where's the where's the scariest place? And I'll go sleep there. Like that's what white people do is sleep in a basement. <laughs> yes, that's haunted. <laughs> yeah, and they they had a weight bench down there, and they said they used to hear the weights clanging. So I'm like, the dude is just getting his pump on, man. You know, yeah. like, <laughs> reliving his glory days. Yeah, he's, he's some Civil War guy, and he's just like, well, my battling days he are ever done. Spot you while you was yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah, it should have been like, bro, you need a hand? Like, uh, yeah. but yeah, he, let's like, load it up. What was that that movie uh, with Harrison Ford in it, Michelle Pfeiffer, where it's a ghost movie and the ghost is trying to tell him. Is that what, what lies happened? beneath? Yeah, that's a real good one. That, that was I a good one. About. Yeah, what, what lies that beneath? About. Yeah, yeah ghost had some unfinished business, and when you figure out what it was, you're like, God, you you know, ghost. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, <laughs> Casper. Yeah, Casper. <laughs> I did just recently. That was a really good movie. I, like I did Casper. just show my kids that one the other yeah, day. Yeah, I like Casper. But uh, yeah, man, I don't know. I I would probably say at this point I err to the side of believing in ghosts yeah. um, because I do. I believe in demons, so you know who's to say? I don't. I can't explain what they are. But so if you believe in ghosts, that just means you believe in everything. Because if there's definitely werewolves, <laughs> <laughs> there might have been. <laughs> No, and I, but see, and I, I believe in aliens now. Like I'm, yeah, I'm, you've got to. yeah, like I'm, I'm going to the alien yeah, thing. Aliens, I, uh, they're, they're kind of, well, it's widespread now. Everybody believes in aliens now. That's good. Yep. Like they I, need to. I just watched an un, unsolved mystery about, like they were talking about the, you know, Netflix has the new unsolved mystery yeah. series. It's pretty good. Look, I'm going to tell you, if you want to really get into some, a good alien, what, uh, Bob Lazar. No, um, Look in the Skinwalker Ranch. Have you ever I've, looked yes, at anything? Yes, I have. God, yes. I've watched the first, I think it's the first two episodes of that. I just, they oh, I haven't watched the actual thing, but oh, I've I, done a lot of research on it and well, watched it on like ancient aliens and stuff like yeah, that. The Skinwalker Ranch. I watched, it was just, they were <coughs> riding around marking everything and it's so big. Yeah. Like, that, All right, you could have, yeah, uh, there's you, nothing happening. I don't care yeah. where your markers are at. Show yeah, me. Look into the stories, like. Well, they tell you the story in the episode. I ain't oh, okay. watched ancient aliens stuff like that. Well, I watch a lot of that, so that's kind of. I had somebody. Some of it's kind of, you know, I'm like, eh, not so much, but some of it, you know, uh, is pretty. It seems accurate. As as untrusting as I am of the government, when the Pentagon releases saying that there are UFOs, at that point, it's kind of hard yeah, to it, deny. It's finally gotten to the point. Or yeah. they just have to let people But know. you know, the crazy thing about that, if the government is saying that, what are they not saying? Like, that's what, that's because oh, they're, sure. yeah, they, they're only releasing the very tip of the iceberg, you know, like, so they're releasing video everybody's seen anyway. Right? Yes. Right. Yeah. They're not like dropping what they, they're not revealing their secrets. Right. So that's where I'm like, man, what do they really, what do they really know? Well, saying that's, I'm waiting for them to tell us we have not been in the moon. Yeah, I'm so happy when that day comes. Like, look, we lied. I'm sorry. Well, some of, some of the stuff I've seen about them, though, like I can't remember dude's name, but it, it was around like Southern California, uh, around Nevada. But it was a guy that had claimed he had had contact. And anyways, he ended up mysteriously dying, of course. And the government yep. raids his house and takes all his papers about because he was building a dome to like project energy yeah and everything you know everything was right added up right but mysteriously all his stuff comes up missing he dies and i'm it's just it's, it's it a lot guy, you know, he, he never it's, got probed like right. that's what he was hoping for yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's, it's a lot of stuff out that way no, around Nevada. That is Nevada. Uh, which where's Skinwalker Ranch? Ain't it like Arizona That's or Utah. something? U- like okay, right is it Utah? Arizona, Utah, somewhere around there. That border. Man, no chance I'd have gotten Marcy to go there. But I say when we were in Utah, she'd been like, "We're gonna take a quick detour." Just don't tell her. I'm yeah, let's go, go there. Be like, Look at this beautiful somewhere. ranch. Yeah, I'm scared to go there. It's, like you talk about places i would be scared to go that's where it's haunted like staying the night at a ghost hotel whatever what is that, that right there hotel they're trying to shut down like they pay you money to stay here it's like a, it's supposed to be super haunted yeah, they like try that? to shut it down every year but you gotta sign a waiver to get in it uh, i don't think nobody's ever stayed the night there this sounds like an I don't think it's tempting really thing here. Yeah, it does. Because <laughs> yeah, they, they, try, they try to force you out. They say it's a bunch of psychological stuff they do to you. Is that the, like, could 13 stories thing? It could be. I, man, I don't know. I if hate, you get if you make it through, you get your money back? Is that the one you're talking no, I about? I think this is like an overnight stay. You get, okay. I want... I can't remember. I guess it would help to know about the story before you start talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody knows there's somewhere in the world that will, there's this place. Just look up it's hotels scary. they're trying it's to scary. shut down. Yeah. They're trying to, it's the most haunted haunted house. I have, I'll I'll check that out. Now but so now you would be you would be scared to go on Skinwalker Ranch. I would. Uh I don't know if I would be scared just to go but I don't know, like the stories I've heard and stuff. It's uh uh, I don't think I would trust it. Just people, I guess, have people been like abducted on there or something? I don't even remember. Well, well. like I know one dude uh, uh, that I seen something about just went to like dig a hole and next day just deathly ill tumor. Like, on Dang, his like really? it was, it's, it's, it's crazy stuff. Like you're not supposed to break any ground there. Um, and I know they, cut it off for like a lot of research and things like that dang and, well that would be uh i'm gonna have to look into I, it more yeah there's stories about the families that have lived there too it's are they like the hills have eyes family? i would definitely look into it <laughs> that's where the movie came from yeah, yeah. something like that <laughs> yep well they say dang. the skinwalker looks like a big werewolf really yeah so but so the like name is counts. truly from they said it morphs yeah how who named but it? there's also like Claims of portals and stuff like that. Was it like Native Americans that named it? Um, I think it come from something like that. Yeah, like it's an old ranch. Yeah, it's it's been there for years. I think before they bought it, it was huh. haunted. You know, Native American kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, I will. I'm, I'm gonna definitely look into it yeah, more. Look into that. That's that's definitely interesting. Yeah. Well, man, this has been fun, guys. We're at the we're at two hours. I think it's time to close it down. I think we'll we'll <laughs> shut it down. It's it's eleven o'clock. It's way past my bed. I gotta go to work <laughs> in the morning. Yeah, I mean, I'm I gotta take the kids to school, and then I'm gonna try to cut some beans. So, well, guys, it's been fun. Hope y'all have had a good time on the show. I had a good time, ladies. I'm also almost done with my cavassier. So, uh, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> for the ladies listening on the show, there's a few. There's a few ladies that listen in. I'm sure. If y'all are watching on YouTube, appreciate you. Please hit that like and hit the subscribe button. If you listened, uh, just hit leave us a review and uh, share it with your friends. And I guess this will be. Probably the last, unless I sneak in some episode, but I'm going to say this is probably going to be the last Halloween episode. So hope all you guys have a happy Halloween. Uh, go dig some holes at Skinwalker Ranch, sleep in some haunted hotels and have a good one. And tell us about it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Before the tumors consume your body, come here and tell us about your experience. Well, no, no, just send pictures. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, send yeah. pictures. Yeah. Yep. We don't want your uh, juju here. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, guys. Thank you all for coming on the show. Appreciate Appreciate it. it. Y'all take care.